Dragon Blogger Nate here. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And my butt, my button's just a little bit too low. I kind of look weird. So give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Da 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 da. What's up, James? Well, now I feel even more weird. Let me get my glasses on. I can't, jankies. I can't see without my glasses. Okay, now okay, that feels. Now I feel like I'm struggling. Hold on, chat. How's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday. Today's deal streams. Deal streams. Indeed. It's also super hot in my house for no reason. It's like my AC is just not working. I need to go spray out the uh, AC unit outside. Let me see. Do I have this fan running still? I certainly do. I certainly do have this fan running. You're here for the gifts, James. Your gifts come in the form of uh, mail days as a dragon blogger. That's what your gifts come in the in the form of. Let's see. Let's start letting some people tinker in. Hello, Alley Cat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Hold on, my friends. Gotta turn off low power mode so my phone will stop turning off. There we go. We're good. And of course, the allergy. The let the allergies commence, my friends. Yeti tumblers are awesome at keeping drinks ice cold for hours. Uh, yet yeah, Yeti is good. Yeah, Yeti is good. One thing. Uh, one thing that I've noticed that is better. The rain didn't help. Oh yeah, like the atmospheric pressure or whatever. I get it. I get it. Some people, like, they can sense when a storm's coming because their, like, knee will hurt. And I always think that's wild. They're like, yeah, we're going to have a storm. My left knee hurts. And you're like, what? And they're like, yeah, man, it's just, it's just the way it goes around here. You guys know what I mean? We're good. But anyways, I hope everyone's having a good day today. Let's see. Who all have we got here? We got Terry Quick. I don't think I recognize you, so welcome to D Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. If you have been here before and I don't remember, I'm so sorry. <coughs> Whew. All right. We're grounded. If it seems like I'm like in a... Uh, Seems like I'm in a rushed mood. I am because exactly one minute before the stream was supposed to start, my dog decided that she needed to go outside. And whenever she has to go outside, I have to take her or she will go potty inside. And we don't want that. But I hope everyone's having a great day today. Like I said, today is a deal stream. So every single thing that we I'm going to show you guys today is on sale. I have videos for the first couple of projectors that we're going to be taking a look at. Uh, but I figured, why don't we just go ahead first off, first and foremost, go ahead and show you guys the progress on Darth Vader. What do you guys think? So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the overhead cam. And of course, my camera is frozen, so give me a second. As you guys see, my chewing tobacco for some reason, because that's not even on the, that's not even on the screen. There we go. We're good. Look at that. Bada boom, bada bang. So you guys were probably aware that we had already completed his head. That was the first thing we did. Then we completed his body and the longest portion of the print, which was his his legs and his cape, that finished yesterday and it came out absolutely incredible. I mean, look at that chat. You can't even tell that that was 3D printed. You can't even see layer lines. I mean, it just came out perfect. So you're kind of able to halfway build this so far. And as you guys can see, I mean, just look how freaking awesome this looks. Let me hold it up like this. I'll switch over to this camera. What's up, What's up Vicky? What's up, Vicky? We're, I'm showing Darth Vader because we're making pretty good progress on it. So you guys can see we're missing a few key parts. Look at that. 
And don't forget, we are going to be giving this bad boy away once he's done. Uh, currently, we're printing his right, his right like foot calf thing. If I switch over to the printer cam, you guys can see. Uh, let me go to the full printer cam. Now we do have an issue with this though that I think we're going to have to restart. And the reason I think we're going to have to restart is because if you guys look really closely at the front of his foot, I'll point to it real quick. After a Jedi was done with him. Uh, pretty much, yeah, pretty much. But if you guys look right here at the front of his foot where I'm pointing, here, let me make this a little bit more clear. It lifted off the bed. So my thing is, is it's been printing for one hour. It's a four hour print. So I'm wondering if we should restart it or just see if it successfully completes. I don't know. It's going to be a tough one to decide if we have to do that or not. Yeah, I the, the cape turned out just... I, can, I couldn't believe how good it turned out. Because you have to look super closely in order for it to... In order to see, like, printing lines. I mean, you almost can't tell. Somebody point out print lines right there. Somebody point that out. You can't. It's almost impossible. Even, like, the details on his legs... You got a little bit of stringing or cat hair. I never know in my in my house. I never know in my house if it's stringing or, or dog hair. We do have some hiccups on the inside portions. Just a little bit of hiccups, but really overall, uh, it's not bad. It's coming together, and I'm excited to give this to one of you guys. I'm super excited to give this to one of you guys. I mean, that's going to be tall, too, because you got to think. We still have his feet, which are going to come. I think they're going to maybe pass the cape. And then his, like, his hands are going to be long with his lightsaber. Then his base is going to lift him up about. So if he's already, that's about that's about eight, eight nine inches or so. It's going to be a big, thick boy. It'll be a big, thick boy. Hey, Evans, how are you doing today? Evans came in clutch last night when Alex wanted to go to sleep. She would not let him go to sleep. She was like, no, we are definitely opening up a big box right now. <laughs> I can't believe I missed him pulling that Mew live, chat. To anybody that is in Alex's stream, I can't believe I missed that live. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Why wasn't I there? And then you guys were trying to, you guys were trying to auction off my card or raffle my card off. You guys are jerks. Hold on. I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. So this is what I got, right? So that's the card that... That's the card that Alex pulled for me yesterday. So I'm pretty excited about that. Heck, you do not be there for the pulls. You ain't there, we turn savage. Apparently. Apparently. I guess that's what you guys do. I don't know. But anyways, like I said, today is a deal stream. You leave, we sell your cards. I feel like the claim to my cards, like they're my cards, was set in stone once I paid money. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, like I said, deal stream today. So let's go ahead and hop into the first product in today's stream uh, and take a look at it. Nope, not true. All right. So what, what am I even do what am I even trying to accomplish right now? I have zero idea. The Anchor Nebula Capsule. The Anchor Nebula capsule. So you guys have seen the Anchor Nebula Apollo. It was the whole stream against you, Nate. Uh, somebody said something along the lines of, I made them cry. I think it might have been Dana. Because I think Dana was chasing that card. I think Dana was chasing that card. Now, if somebody pulls that Althar Gengar, specifically Dana, I have what you want, Dana. I have what you want. And potentially you might end up having what I want. So 
come to me if you want to talk. If you want to talk about something, then maybe we can make a deal. If not, then that's all, then, then that's okay. That's on you. Listen, I don't make the rules. I pulled a, I pulled a mu, uh, I pulled a the mu v alternate art, and that's just the way it goes. Okay, capiche? That's the way it goes. So, anyways, like I was saying, you guys have seen the Nebula Apollo. This is the Nebula capsule. Dana, Dana, Daner, <laughs> Daner. Dana is after any Mew. So that's I'm after any Gengar. Kind of. Now I'm not gonna trade for a cheap, cheap, cheap Gengar. Hey, this is my What the heck is going on? Oh no. Oh no, we watching my video. We are watching my video. Cause I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. Alright, so let me go ahead and switch over to my local video so you guys can actually see the local video. Hey, De hey, Evans, I sing good, okay? Is that really his? That's his intro? Is that song? Okay, I, guess, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I can't be mad at it, I guess. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech. Here we go. Now we can watch it. You sing as good as Alex, or it's Teen Spirit. I can't remember exactly right now. I can't remember. I can't remember the name of that song. You sing as good as Alex. Whose stream did you watch for the first time? Vicky's husband or Alex's stream? Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this really awesome portable projector by Anchor. This is the Nebula. The Nebula is a portable powerhouse that boasts a ton of features such as Android 7.1, Bluetooth speaker capability, and much more. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at everything that this has to offer. So whenever you guys unbox this, you guys are going to notice you get every single thing you need to get set. Hey, what the heck, Vicky? I want to watch. I want to watch. You need to... You need to sharpen up and send me a link on Discord to your husband's stream because that's ridiculous. A little about the Nebula pamphlet right here, and then you are going to get the remote that is going to have its all of its own features built in right here. You guys can see very simple remote. They even include two AAA batteries on the back so you can get set up and going. Now, like I said before, this is a portable powerhouse that boasts a ton of features such as Android 7.1, which is going to give you all of the apps that you need to watch your favorite shows, movies, live sports, whatever it is. And it's all going to do that in this little bitty body right here. Now, don't let the size of this thing fool you. Even though that this is tiny, it does come in at a good resolution of 854 by 480 and it has a 2 or a 100 ANSI lumen lens. So you guys can see that right here. There's a ton of features. So let's just go ahead and get this hooked up and take a look at everything that I can do. Alright guys, so we have this hooked up in my living room as you guys can see here, it is casted on my wall. So you guys might notice that over here on the left side I left a light on, and I did that because I wanted to see how well this fares at only 100 lumens if you have other light sources. And so far as you guys can see right here, we are at the main menu which we'll go over in just a few seconds, but you guys can see that the light isn't really taking you away from how bright this is, and the Apollo isn't even plugged into a power source, so it's going to be in a power save mode. All right, so what I want to go ahead and do now is I have the lights off and I want to show you guys this color accuracy check. And the reason I'm... Annie, let me clarify what Vicky just said. Hey, I'm married to him. Did you pay us money? No, I'm just kidding. Did you pay us money, by the way? Pay the money. I want to do this is I want you guys to see how good of a job the Nebula does at reproducing colors, which in my opinion, it's phenomenal. And then I'll make sure you guys can hear how good the audio coming from the Nebula sounds as well. So let's go ahead and play the video. And so we have it turned down all the way right now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just make sure you guys are able to hear the loudness or the clarity coming from the speaker itself.
And if you guys take a look at the bottom left of the screen, you guys might notice here soon that my cat is going to make an appearance. You know, I guess I probably could have chosen a, uh, a video to play while showcasing this projector that wasn't some meditation hyp hypnosis music. And I could have paused it at a different time rather than a decaying set of strawberries. Cool. So what I want to go ahead and do now is I'm going to turn this up all the way and I'm basically going to pull the camera away from the actual microphone that I'm recording with just so you guys can hear how good this sounds say you're sitting away from it. So as you guys could probably tell right there that the speakers on the Nebula sound amazing. They do a really good job of making sure that you're very easily able to hear all of your movies and sports. So let's go ahead and zoom in and just take a closer look at some of the picture quality on this. And as you guys can see right here, it just looks so good. Honestly, at 100 lumens, this really surprised me with how good this thing worked. It definitely has a very clear picture and I have no complaints about the resolution at all. All right, so if you guys have been looking for an awesome projector, I highly recommend the Nebula. It is super portable. You guys could see that it is only the size of a Coke can roughly. It has amazing picture quality. And with Android 7.1, this little beast is going to have every single app you want for your TV shows, movies, and just anything along those lines. So definitely check out the Nebula by Anchor. Anchor makes amazing products and this does not fall short of their high quality standards. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one all right my friends so uh if you guys need a new projector that one's 80 bucks off right now no no enter live today no enter live today um but 80 bucks off on that you guys can see is a really good projector um tink welcome to today's stream how are you doing today my friend i don't know what i was gonna say so like i panicked and just said friend <laughs> To be honest, uh, Darren, welcome to today's stream. How you guys doing? Uh, but yes, like I said, um, the Anchor Nebula capsule is just mwah, such a good projector. I, I I don't know if it's better than the Apollo that you guys have seen before, uh, but it might be. It might be. Uh, Darren, I figured I will show you the progress on our giveaway model that we're doing. You can see right here, we've got his, well, most of his legs, uh, his body and his head done. His, his foot, his right foot is printing now. So we'll see how that come, how that turns out. But the next product in today's stream is the Anchor Mars 2 Pro, which is a definite step up, a definite step up in quality from the capsule. Um, a little bit brighter, a little bit better picture quality. Uh, so that's going to be the next video we look at. Uh, but yes, yes, Vicky, I did subscribe to, uh, I subscribed to it, or I followed him. I followed your husband, okay? I followed him home from work. <laughs> Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro. How long was I muted for? How long was I muted for? What all did I say? <laughs> what all did I say? What was the last thing I said? I followed him, him from work. 
Oh, okay. I remember what I said. So the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro. Uh, I think you guys will be surprised at how nice this projector is. That's what I was saying. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro projector. This is a projector that features a ton of features, so let's just go ahead and jump in and take a look at everything that Anchor did with the Mars 2. So the Mars 2 is going to have an app store that is going to allow you to download your favorite apps for movies or TV shows, but on the back you have an HDMI port in case you want to plug something in. So the Mars 2 has a fantastic design on top. You have a faux leather handle that's going to let you carry this around because they did design the Mars 2 Pro in order to be a portable projector. So this does come with a remote, but if you guys lose that for some reason, you do have controls up on here such as selector wheel, back button, volume up, and Bluetooth. So the remote is very easy to use. You guys can see right here, it's a very simple design that's going to give you everything you need to control this such as your power buttons, selector buttons, volume, home, and back. So definitely really nice. And so just talking about the projector itself, being that this is a projector, you guys might be concerned with video quality, which you do not have to because this has amazing picture quality. So what I want to do is switch over so you guys can see just how good the Mars 2 Pro looks whenever you're casting it. Whenever you first get the Mars 2 Pro loaded up, this is going to be the UI you see. It is a very simple design. You're going to have your HDMI selector, file manager, app manager, network settings, your general settings, and then you're going to have a nebula. So this also, I, I didn't talk about it, but this also has autofocus built into it. And so what I mean by autofocus is to say, you're like, I don't want it on that wall anymore. I want it on this wall. That wall is like cooler. Um, you can just turn it, point it at whatever it is. It will automatically focus dependent on how far it is away from the wall. Uh, and autofocus is really nice. Uh, so yeah, that's one thing it does have that I didn't say in the video, but autofocus is... I, I really enjoy it when pr I've had two that don't have it and it's a little bit of a hassle, especially being that I can't see shoot uh, out of my left eye and really my eyes in general. Um, having that autofocus feature is really nice. The manager and whenever you load this up, it loads very fast. That's going to be dependent on your internet, of course, but you guys can see right here that there is a ton of apps. So you're never going to run out of things to watch or enjoy with the family. And then switching over to a live view of this, you guys can see that the color reproduction on the Mars 2 Pro is absolutely brilliant and I think it looks really nice. So what I want to do now is basically switch over to a scene that has a little bit more color and a little bit more oomph. You guys can see that all of the colors on this is just... And also let me rewind because right about... Where did I switch over? I'm trying to find where there's a gray screen or there's no, but there's no, uh, picture. So you guys can see, you might be able to see the texture. That's just on a wall, by the way. So there's no projector screen installed on this wall. This is in my living room. All I did is I took down a painting. I think you can actually see the, the nails kind of throughout the video, unless that's just dirt on my screen. No, you can definitely see it. You can kind of see right there's my mouse right there as well. Uh, some prior holes, and then there's a nail right to the left of that volume wheel. Uh, so like I said, this is, this, it looks this good, and it's not even on a projector screen. With gray walls as well, gray walls. To a scene that has a little bit more color and a little bit more oomph. You guys can see that all of the colors on this is just absolutely vivid, and it just looks so good. Now, I've said this before about Anchor in the past, but whenever Anchor makes something, they just make it really good. The Mars 2 Pro, I feel, falls in a very nice place when it comes to quality and budget. So if you guys have been looking for a really awesome projector, I highly recommend the Mars 2 Pro because it's absolutely amazing. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. So fun fact about the Mars 2 Pro, uh, we tried to upload this video. We tried to upload this video to Amazon. And so to any of you guys that actually watched that just now, not just kind of blankly listened, um, I want you guys to guess. So we tried to upload this to Amazon and I want I want some guesses in chat why it got rejected. Somebody come up with a reason as to why you think Amazon rejected uploading this video. Somebody let me know. Because they would not let us upload it. And I'm going to see if anyone can come close. Why do you guys think 
Amazon was like, you can't put this video on Amazon. And I'm going to turn around and grab something. The audio. So, in quote, what Justin sent me, because whenever they, whenever they, uh, whenever they deny a video from being uploaded, they give us a reason. They give us a reason. The reason was, is that because I promised, or let, let me just read it. I'll read it to you because you guys, it's just, it's crazy. Let me see real quick. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm I'm talking about the wrong projector here. I'm talking about the wrong projector here. Justin's correcting me. The Cosmos, which is the next product, got rejected. Never mind. So I, I stand completely corrected. You guys can see he said it was the Cosmos that got completely rejected right there. So there we go. But anyways, that is the Anchor Mars 2 Pro. That's not the one. Put him in chat on Twitch. Hi, Nate and DB fam. LOL. So, yes. That is the Anchor Mars 2 Pro. Very, very impressed with it. But, I mean, what what, what do we really expect at this point? Do we expect that Anchor is going to make a bad product? Because name one product that Anchor's made that you guys were like, yeah, this, this isn't very good. Yes, chat. Yes. So we have a link. We have a link to win Vader. So let me drop that in the chat. We have a link to win Vader. So go ahead and get entered dragonblogger.com forward slash win Vader. So when it's completed, because it looks like we're not going to have many issues with it. Uh, we can get entered to win that. We're going to be drawing it on Wednesday next week. On Wednesday next week. And we're going to go ahead and clear the giveaways because Mr. Dragon Blogger just came in and said that, yes, my friends, we are going to be doing a gift two gift card giveaways today. Yay. F's in chat for Justin. F's in chat for Justin. I'm seeing 3D printer, so that's what you were talking about. F in chat. All right, so don't enter yet. Don't enter yet, my friends. I got to clear the giveaways or clear the entries. And I'll share a link so you guys can get entered. Well, now I'm kind of excited to watch the Cosmos and see what see what I might have said that they got rid of it for. Hold on, hold on. And bulk action and delete. All right, so that is being deleted. I've been filming a lot of projectors today. Today I'm going to be filming another one. All right, so you guys are go ahead. You guys have the go ahead to go ahead and get. Let's just stop. Uh, you guys are able to go ahead and get entered for the gift card giveaway that we'll be doing twice on today's stream. One halfway through, one at the end is kind of how we'll do that. Uh, also, don't forget, we're getting closer and closer to uh, the giveaway of eight hundred dollars on PayPal or a gaming laptop. And here's the link to get entered to win those. So a gigabyte GD5 gaming laptop or $800 to your PayPal account, which is absolutely incredible. And I imagine if you guys aren't in the U.S. and you win and you don't have PayPal, Justin will come up with something to be able to uh, kind of compensate. He'll come up with 
Steam gift card. I don't know. He'll, he'll come up with something. Amazon, something will happen. So definitely get entered to win everything. Uh, but we're going to roll on into the next product and look at the Anchor Nebula Cosmos. And uh, Justin said something. I didn't deliver the Mars 2 video yet. Wrong video. I should have. I should have delivered it. Finished reviews. Oh, okay. There's five videos in the in the channel, Justin, for, for last night's five. There's five videos in our folder. That's what's going on. If you're still listening. So let me go ahead and minimize all this stuff. And I'm going to get this video loaded up so we can take a look at it. Why is there two of them? Oh, okay. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Finished. All right, chat. Give me a second. Give me a second. Because now, for some reason, I can't find my video on the Anchor Nebula Cosmos. Very strange. Very strange, my friends. Give me one second. Another new giveaway, too. So, yes, the Vader, which is this guy right here. Whenever it's done 3D printing, we will be giving away Darth Vader from my 3D printer. Uh, then we have the then we have the gaming laptop or $800 PayPal giveaway. And on today's stream, we have two $5 Amazon gift cards. So be sure to get entered to win everything. Where is my video for the Nebula Cosmos? This is getting really weird. Justin, if you're still here, if you're still here, I need the, I need my video. Yeah. Okay. Justin, if you can, I know it's not uploaded. Do you by chance have that video that you could drop in the Dropbox because it's gone? I uh, hold on. What is happening? Mars two Nebula capsule. Finished. I know what's happening, chat. I uploaded the Nebula from my phone. Okay. We figured it out, chat. That's my fault. Not going to lie. Give me one second. Give me one second. We'll, we'll probably have to come back to it because that's exactly what happened. I almost guarantee it. So we're going to go ahead and roll on into the next product. Uh, we will come back to the Nebula Cosmos. Uh, but the next product that we're going to be taking a look at is the Fantic X8 Portable Tire Inflator. Uh, Jame here is going to be the person that did this video. I'm almost positive. So let me go ahead and get that video loaded up. And sorry for the uh, delay. Sorry for the delay, my friends. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at the new product from Fantique, guys. This is their X8 tire inflator, which is palm size, which is really great. Now, this does have a 5200 milliamp battery, but it does have the capacity of, I think, a 2600 milliamp, so it's times two, which is really cool. Now, it's got a large digital scale, multi function, guys. So, literally, you could charge two car tires off one charge, and you could do four motorcycle tires or seven bicycle tires or road bikes guys which is really cool now it does go up to 150 psi which is very awesome also now inside here guys you have this the case you have all the devices you have one air inflator you have one but yeah justin if you have that video still for the cosmos uh can you please just drop it back in the dropbox real quick because it's also not on my phone so i don't know what happened some it disappeared. It disappeared. I don't have it anymore. So drop it back in the drop box if you have the chance, please. Press the valve adapter, one nozzle ball adapter, one air tube adapter, 
one USB cable, one storage bag, and of course the manual. Now, but it's no worries because we're just going to finish this video, then we'll go back. Uh, all my fault, chat. I don't know what happened. Somehow, uh, somehow, I, lo I lost a whole video. I, I don't know, chat. It's not making fun of me, okay? Going between each mode because it does do modes, right? But first, before we get into talking to the modes, let's pop it out and kind of show you guys the device itself. Now, the cool thing is, is of course, it's boxed, then reboxed, right? Travel Diva, how are you doing today, my friend? Welcome, 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 welcome. It's good to see you back here again. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic day. So today is a deal stream, Travel Diva, which means every single thing that we're showing you is on sale. And honestly, a lot of this stuff uh, has really good discounts and you know price reductions right now. Uh, don't forget, Travel, that we do have uh, a gaming laptop or $800 PayPal giveaway. We also are doing our Darth Vader giveaway, which I'll drop a link in chat for you guys to get, so you can get entered to win that. And what I mean by Darth Vader is Christian Haydenson himself will be yours forever. And then also on today's stream, we have two gift card giveaways. So be sure to get entered to win all of those, my friend. So you have the box, then you have the new box, which just shows you the device right there. And then shows you on the side the 2600 milliamp battery with the it's even got led lights i did not realize it had led lights up to 150 psi weighs 1.3 pounds multiple purpose of course right large screen and all that good stuff but let's slide it open you guys are getting bored of that stuff aren't you so we have the device itself which is uh you said it james you said it Uh, Justin, if you're still watching, were you able to see how the Darth Vader is coming along? If not, also Travel Diva, I don't know if you were here. Like I said, we do, obviously, you know, we, we 3D print on the channel. Um, we 3D printed Grogu, which is that guy right there, little baby Yoda. You can't really see him. We 3D printed him, and the chat wanted it, but I was like, he's mine. So I figured what we did is we would do a voting system to see what everybody wanted. And everybody wanted uh, Darth Vader. So we are currently in the works of printing Darth Vader right now. Once it is complete, which should be next Wednesday, um, we will be doing a live giveaway of this Darth Vader model. Baby Yoda. Yep. Yep. Let's go ahead and uh, jump back over and watch the rest of this video. It's actually really nice. Now, it does multiple modes, so that's a cool part. Now, I'm going to set the device aside first, and we're going to kind of show you guys the little carrying case, which is cool. They actually give you a carrying case. I like this. So, Justin, I think I've, I've, I've printed enough now. I've printed enough now where I can be considered one of the resident 3D printing experts. What do you guys think, chat? Because it wasn't before. It was it was uh, Al and Merle. Al and Merle were, were our guys for 3D printing that I think I've earned residency status. I have, yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> All the extras. And then we'll get into it as we turn it on. So you have your basketball or ball inflator, which is cool they give you this. I love that they add that. USB-C to USB mini cord. Then you have your adapter, your Presta adapter, and then you have your inflator. So that's all that is. And then we're going to grab the device itself. And as you guys can see, it is super small. Let's pull the plastic off the plastic side. Very small, very easy, elegant looking, uh, nice grips. It actually feels good to grip it. So let's pull the plastic off. Let's get... Hey, Tink, uh, did you get entered? Be sure to get entered because you have a chance to win. You have a chance to win. This is going to be a quick draw as well. So that means more than likely, it's really only going to be the people that are on that stream that day because you have to be live. You have to be in chat to win. I'm excited for that. I wish I could do something more grand than just that the quick draw page. I'll try to come up with something, maybe like a confetti popper. <laughs> The screen powered on, so we can power this on. But first, before we power it on, let's take the inflator hose and screw it on. Of course, guys, you want to take this off every time you use this. Because 
Um, so Terry says she's been wondering something. She sees all the same names on Amazon live streams. Are we the only ones in the world that know about Amazon live to answer your question? Uh, no, we're not the, you're not the only ones. But the thing is, is if you go, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. If you look at, if you go to like the browse and normally the people that are right there on top that you're not following, if you click on them, more than likely they probably have three to 400 people watching consec or concurrently. That means like any given second, that's how many people are watching more than likely the majority of people watching them aren't people that follow them. And I know that sounds weird. The reason I say that is because they get put on the front page. So whenever people load up their Amazon app on computer or whatever it is, they're going to see the Amazon live stream and they're like, what is this? Uh, so they watch it. And a lot of people just don't know that this is, it isn't just like a one-time thing that there's, you can follow and go about that. But a lot of the people that you see in the same chats, um, they don't really watch the big time streamers the whole time or go to every single stream. Uh, so in a way, you have more of a community with a smaller viewership, if that makes sense. That also. So that's really good that it does that. I like that function. Now, all right, James, shut up, James. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's go ahead and keep going. There we go. This is what, this is what, this is the juice we want. Test this out on a car. Okay, guys, now that we have the X8 Fantiques out here, we're at my daughter's car, as you guys can see. We're going to set it up to 35 pounds PSI. Now, unfortunately, it's a little dark, so you guys won't be able, or a little bright, so you guys won't be able to see it. Just literally screw it on, guys, right? This will indicate and tell us how much air is in the tire once we put it on. It's at 31 pounds. Hit power, and you're good to go. Set it down, let it go. And just like that, we're back up to 35 pounds. Very simple. Very. James doesn't like popcorn. That explains it all. That explains it all. But no, if you guys need a new tire inflator, I know. I know, chat. You got to hear me say it again. You got to hear me do my little shtick. It's better to have this and not need it than need it and not have it. Huh? No, seriously. I mean, this thing could potentially save you a ton of money. Uh, if you have a low tire and you don't have a spare um, or you're unable to change it yourself. Um, then this is definitely something that can get you out of a pickle, save you hundreds, if not a thousand or more dollars on having a uh, having a uh, what's it called? Having a tow truck come out or roadside assistance. So and it'll just and it'll just save you time too on the event in the event that you uh that you uh pop a tire or have a flat tire if you pop a tire probably not but if you have a flat more than likely but the next product in today's stream that we're going to look at because we're still waiting on uh we're still waiting on the video to be uploaded back so i can show you guys that for the cosmos projector is the fantic mini electric screwdriver but I have a question. Vicky, are you still here? Vicky, are you still here? Because I want to give Vicky an update. Because I told Vicky that I was going to be doing... I told her that I was going to be doing a giveaway or printing her a Charizard. For some reason, I can't successfully print the Charizard for her. I just can't. It, it just doesn't happen. Uh, so we're reprinting her a Gengar in purple. This has been printing for 30, 30 plus hours or so. And you guys can see that's how far it came. I just took this picture just now. 30 plus hours. This is a three-day print. But you guys can also see that there's some collapsing right there. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not too worried about, because all of that stuff, that's all support. I'm not too worried about any of this, because there's really nothing in the front that really, really needs support. The back, which is floating in the midair, his tail, that needs support. But you guys can see... Vicky, that that is uh that is the status of your Gengar. We're about 
not even a third of the way done. Not even a third. Beep, boop, beep. Yep. That's a noise that can be made. So, the next product, like I said, is the Fantic Mini Electric Screwdriver Kit. You can screw all of the things. And my chat is unavailable, so give me a second. There we are. And we're going to go. This is on deal of the day, too. 22% off. 22% off. You guys can save over nine, $10 on it. Crazy how long it takes. Yeah, it is crazy how long it takes. At the risk of sounding too descriptive, if you think about it, it makes sense though. It makes sense how long it takes because each one of those lines is 0.12 of a millimeter. So not even a full millimeter, which is like that. 0.12. So I mean, hair, like thinner than a piece of hair. You, I mean, you, you can't even visualize 0.12 millimeters. Like just microscopic almost and it has to do that for every single like especially with how tall it is did you call me Nate? the entry page was playing over scrambling my brain yes i did did you not see did you not okay vicky see and so here's the thing this is why you don't pull the muse this is why i pull the muse uh no anyways what i was saying is your gangar is probably a third of the way done Probably a third of the way done. It's been printing since midnight, not last night, but the night before. And it it might not even be a third of the way done. This is the current status of your Gengar. Now, I do have a little bit of concern because you see right there the supports collapsed. And they look very weird over here. And we have some random, uh, random stuff that uh, fell off. But I'm not too worried about the supports in the front. And the reason I say that is because I don't even know why the front really needs supports because nothing's floating. But yeah, once that Gengar is done, that will be yours. It will be yours. Oh my gosh. That was so close. This is from Fantic. This is their ADX E1 Pro. Okay, all right. Justin, if you're still watching... If you're still watching, please tell me that 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 day that James did 20 videos, that James did like 20 plus videos, this was one of them near the end. Because I don't remember the last time I saw a James here video that, or a James video that didn't start with James here. So this might be one of the videos that he did near the end of his 20, 20 video day. This is from Fantech. This is their ADX E1 Pro. What this is is a 24-piece magnetic precision bit set with an actual electric screwdriver with dual speeds, which is just phenomenal. Now, on top of the speeds, guys, it does do reverse or forward, so you have two directions of the screwdriver going in. Then <laughs> Exhausted. James! Uh, well, how do you... How do you, I don't want to just, you still ha need to have the loudness. You still need to have the loudness of saying James here, but in a tired, in a tired way. Well, James can answer the question. Justin said that you, there was one day where you filmed 20 videos and he could see, and he could see that like the very first video you did high energy and it just slowly kind of degraded throughout that. It just kind of slowly degraded throughout that. James, was this one of the 20 videos? Because I was just telling chat, I was just telling chat that I don't remember the last video we got where you did come in on the intro by saying James here. Dang it. Can you have the list of the bits, guys? And we'll go. But no, James, I completely understand because uh, I also, there, there's tons of videos I have where you could just tell I was tired in the voiceover like you can just definitely tell i was tired well james if i'm overstepping i don't mean to i don't mean to reading what you just said so i apologize vicky said she asked me if i could make a video of her 
so she could get 100 likes. I'm like, what? No, and don't ask for that again. Five and a half years old? And she wants likes on a video. One of your one of your Twinkies? Twinkies? Oh nah. Oh nah. Oh nah. I'd have been like, what did you just say to my face? What are these real life words coming out of your five and a half year old mouth? What is happening right now? <laughs> why why does she need one hundred likes? All over the bits as we can, but some of the bits, including the pH double zero or triple zeros, the pH double zero, and uh, pH zero, pH one, a uh, whole bunch of torques, and then we have star heads, screwdriver heads, multiple other heads uh, that I don't have the listings for on top of my head. Now, the cool thing is, guys, this is actually a uh, rechargeable, uh, rechargeable device, guys. So it does use a USB C to USB A recharging kit. Then it has a 350 milliamp battery in it, guys, that will last up to two hours of continuously working. Uh, you probably won't be doing that, but it can do that. So at two hours continuously working, guys, that's about 400 screws to unscrew and uh, re-screw. Now, it does about 180 RPMs of uh, precision screw, but look at that case, guys. This is a phenomenal case. I love these cases from... Uh, Terry says growing up with technology is totally different than when we were kids. So I feel like I grew up, I grew up right before I grew up with technology. I think my first ever gaming like console was this Nintendo 60, no super Nintendo. It was a super Nintendo. Uh, but even having like a Nintendo around and yes, TV was obviously a thing and, um, I grew up right before I feel like technology really took over the youth. Uh, because whenever I was a kid, like from five years old to 15 years old, you couldn't get me inside. You couldn't get me in the house. And what I mean by that is I could not be constrained in inside. I would sneak out to be able to play outside. But you got, a lot of you guys are probably uh, very familiar with what I mean. Um, just riding your bikes, playing in the creeks, uh, playing in the creeks, playing puck hockey with flattened soda cans, coming home or needing to be home when the street lights were on, that type of stuff. And that's one kind of thing. Um, that's, that's kind of one reason I think that I... Uh, I'm slightly concerned about having a kid, not necessarily because, uh, not necessarily because I don't feel like she's going to play outside, but I want her to be able to have friends that play outside, but I'm worried that other parents aren't going to make their kids play outside. You guys see it spin a little faster. If you guys want to go reverse, very easy, very simple guys slides in and out. This kit is going to make. Lady Bacon said we weren't allowed to be inside. Yeah, that's true. We weren't allowed to be inside uh, throughout the day. And if you tried to go inside, I would always get yelled at for letting all the air out, especially in the summer. Like if, and my mom would always say, if you go outside, you stay outside. If you come inside, you're staying inside. She would say stuff like that. Your mother would lock you outside. <laughs> If you're going to go outside, you're going to stay out there. If if you're going to if you're going to be inside, that then you're going to stay in here cuz I'm not going to have any of this going in and out stuff letting all the air out of the house. And I miss those days. I really do. Awesome job with this kit. I love it, guys. Takes not too long to charge it, then you have 2 hours of use. Uh definitely Fantex guys did great with this kit. Then NEX E1 Pro, guys. If you need it, check it out. I'm not even kidding. You might. Man, I, I I do miss those days. I do miss those days. You guys are making me feel nostalgic now. Because I remember. I remember. I mean, it's like I could... It's almost like I could... I can remember exactly what it was like. So, if I were to just... 
that was my rewind sound, by the way. If I just rewind back in time, there's eight year old, nine year old, ten year old Nate. He's outside playing with his friends. It's about eleven a.m. in the morning. Uh, I just got yelled at because I kept going in in and out because I would run into the house to get sodas for me and my friends. My mom would make mac and cheese at noon because it was a summer day. She'd make mac and cheese. I'd go inside, eat. We'd swim in the pool. We'd ride our bikes around the neighborhood. And I don't know if you guys, if you guys ever remember this, but so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming most of you guys, I'm assuming most of you guys probably rode your, rode your bike whenever you were a kid outside. And think about this as a kid, distances seem so much more serious than they actually were. So I would remember if I rode my bike half a mile away from home, I, I, I used to think that I was light years from home. I used to think that I was so way too far away. I think the furthest I ever, ever rode my bike away from home was probably maybe a mile, maybe a mile. And I used to always think when I got that far that I was going to get stranded and I was just like, I was way too far. I was out of my element. Like I got dropped off in another country. <laughs> That's how I used to feel if I rode my bike way too far away. Uh, and a mile is obviously not that far at all, but you were fed breakfast and they were told to stay outside until lunchtime. I had a lot of cousins, so we all played together. I remember what we used to do. Um, so we had my best friend at the time when, you know, when I was in my, I don't know, from one to 10, I don't know what you call those. Uh, when I was like eight, six, six, seven, eight years old, my best friend lived right across the street from me. We actually moved into the house because so we moved we moved to a new school district. So I went to a new school and my first friend that I met there started being my best friend. And we were just staying in an apartment at the time. We were staying in an apartment at the time looking for a house so you know my mom could buy. And so she found one and she purposely bought this house because it was right across the street from my best friend. So that was amazing. So we also had a bunch of other neighborhood friends. We had one if I walked out my front door right down at the corner of the street, uh, across the street and to the right from me, we had another friend around the corner, another friend behind my house, another friend. So we had just a group. What we used to do is if any of us ever made money from chores or if like, if we just had any like birthday money or whatever, what we would do is every weekend for a long time, for years, what we would do is we would go to the corner, the corner of our neighborhood and everyone, we had a friend that had hockey sticks, so he'd bring hockey sticks and somebody would drink a can of soda and then we'd crush it flat and then we'd play street hockey. We would play street hockey and everyone would bring snacks from their house and everyone always got in trouble because like say your, your mom just went and got groceries, all of the snacks went to like this community potluck for the neighborhood kids. So we'd all sit there for hours and hours and play street hockey and anyone that had cash or cash at the time was like $2. Anyone that had that, we'd put it in a big, we, we had a jar. We'd put it in there and whoever won the tournament of street hockey got the money. But here's the thing is most of the time we would just, anyone that won, they basically, we would right after they won, they would take the money and we'd all go to the gas station, which was two blocks away. We'd all go to the gas station and just buy more snacks. Uh, so I remember that fondly. That was a, that is one thing I'll never forget. Till my dying day, I will remember street hockey with my friends whenever I was a little boy. So fun. So fun. We could only we could only come in for lunch Kool-Aid with very low sugar and a bologna sandwich. Oh my gosh, but tell me, Tink, tell me that those bologna sandwiches, bologna sandwiches with a craft single cheese on it and a little bit of mayonnaise, not not Miracle Whip, Hellman's real mayonnaise. On a summer day, that paired with like some Kool Aid or one of those little jugs that looked like a, uh... ooh, ooh, those hit different on a summer day, chat. Those hit different. <laughs> That's awesome. We all had the same childhood, and I love that. That's cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and keep going on into today's stream. Uh, the Fantic X8 Apex tire inflator is the next product that we're gonna look. No, actually, no. I have the video for the Cosmos, so we're going to go ahead and switch back to that. Remember the ice cream truck? Yes. Yes, I did. And here's the way the ice cream truck would always play out. You would hear it, like, I don't know, two blocks away. And everyone, like, 
if we're all riding bikes or just playing around on the streets, mobbing around, doing whatever we were doing, everyone would be like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys hear that? It's the ice cream truck and everyone would run to their house to ask their mom or dad for money. That's what we would do. I w we would all be like, is that the ice cream truck? Yeah, that is. Oh, well, I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. Sprint, just haul, just haul it home and ask for money. Mom, 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 mom. There's the ice, uh, the ice cream truck is going to be here soon. Can I have $2? <laughs> That's exactly how it went down every time, too. That's so funny. But anyways, like I said, we're going to be looking at the Anchor Nebula Cosmos next. We had uh, the same ice cream driver for so long, for so long, chat. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Anchor Nebula Cosmos Projector. This is an absolutely stacked projector that has a ton of features, so let's just go ahead and dive in and take a look at everything that comes with it before I show you guys just how awesome the nebula is. So the nebula is gonna come with every single thing you need to get set up. So the first thing that you guys are gonna notice right here is you get your power adapter that is a standard three prong out. So if you guys look in the carousel, you guys might notice that there's two of them that look the exact same and they basically are. But one of them, which is the one I'm showcasing now to you, is the 4K version of the product that you guys are watching a video on right now. So. I'm not going to switch over, but if you guys see the quality from this and you're like, okay, I want 4K, you're like, I want 4K though, then uh, you can just click the one that's in the carousel. I'll highlight it for a little bit during the video, uh, but yes, they're basically the same exact thing. The other one is just 4K as opposed to 1080p. LED adapter. Now, what you guys need to know about this is even though this can run off of the AC power, it does have a built-in battery that is going to give you upwards of five to six hours of playback time from my testing. And then the next thing that you are going to get is you are going to get this little welcome pamphlet right here. So if we open this up, you guys can see that we have a few different cards in here, such as a happy or not happy card that will tell you what to do if you are happy or unhappy with the product. And then you're also going to get a quick start guide, but you guys shouldn't need this because I'm going to show you guys everything that you need to do to get this working. And then you guys, of course, are obviously going to get a remote. So taking a look at the remote, you guys can see that right here you have that Nebula branding right there on the bottom. You have your power button, your focus button. You're going to have Google Assistant, so you're able to speak to Google and have Google load up certain apps for you or search certain things such as news or weather. You're going to have your selector wheel right here, home button, settings, volume up and volume down, and your back button. And this does take two AAA batteries, but they send it with it, so you don't have to worry about that. And then jumping back to the Nebula itself, just some general specs on this. This is a full 1080p projector, so this is going to give you full crystal clear HD and it's going to look really nice on it. You guys can see that right here you have a speaker grill that is wrapping around the almost the entire length of the body, which looks really nice. Right here on the front, you're going to have your Nebula logo, and then you're also going to have a sensor, so this machine will know if somebody's stepping in front of it and give you a warning not to look into the light, basically. And then jumping over here to the back side, you guys are going to notice that you have a few different items on the back. So right here, you're going to have your power button, and going back to what I said before, you guys can see that the speaker grill wraps almost around this, so you guys can have full 360 immersive sound. Taking a look at the chat, I will be right back. I will be right back. I am going to go, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't eat lunch today. Usually I eat before stream. So should I make popcorn or heat up leftover pizza? Which one? I'll have my phone with me. I'm just going to go put something in the microwave and then I'll be back and then I'll go grab it again. And then I'll be back again. Uh, so popcorn or leftover pizza? Let me, let me know. Pizza. Okay. We got two pizzas already. The bottom here, on the left side, you're going to have your DC power in, HDMI 1, HDMI 2 with art compatibility, USB and another USB, and then as well as an optical cable. So the extensions that you're going to be able to add to the Nebula itself already makes this so much more worth it than other projectors that I've tested in the past. 
And then lastly, right here on top, before we dive in and just take a look at how good the picture quality on the Nebula looks, you guys can see that right up here on the top, you are going to have this nice little badge that kind of has this LCD looking screen with the Nebula branding right there, which I just think looks really awesome. So let's just go ahead and get this on a tripod and test it out. All right guys, so we are now in my living room and I went ahead and already went through the setup process with the Cosmos. And you guys can see that right here we have our Android TV screen. So you guys can see that the response rate and how fast the processor on this is actually very quick. So you can go through, you have a ton of different apps. You have Prime Video right there, some featured apps, but let's go ahead and open the settings and show you guys of some of the things that this can do. So if I open the settings right here, you guys can see I go down to projector settings. You have a ton of options here such as brightness, color temp, your wall color, power saving mode, keystone correction, which is going to allow you to manually adjust the screen as you guys can see that I'm doing right there. So it's really awesome, very easy to get set up if you're gonna be casting this to multiple surfaces. So now what we'll go ahead and do is we'll just go ahead and load an app real quick just to see how fast that actually responds. So YouTube already is installed whenever you get this. So let's just go ahead and open YouTube for the first time and see how long it takes to load up. So you guys can see there that the processor already loaded that up. We'll go ahead and just click into my email right there. And skipping forward, you guys will see that it is loading now. The loading speed is going to be determined a little bit by how fast your internet is. But you guys can see right there, loads up very quick and it's such a crisp picture. All right guys, so we do have some video playing and I just want you guys to look at how. <laughs> I was so worried because I was only gone for like a minute and a half, if that. I was so worried that I was going to get like the stream kicked off because I wasn't on camera. I think as long as we have at least an audio source playing, we should be Gucci. Uh, but I felt whenever I typed that saying like, I'm still here, Amazon, do not terminate. Let me eat. Uh, I felt like the people that whenever they upload, whenever they upload a video to Facebook or YouTube, whatever it is, I felt like the people that say, uh, if they have copyrighted music in it and they say something along the lines of if they put it in the description, they'll be like, I do not, I do not own the rights to this song that they think that that, <laughs> that, that clears them and makes them able. So just so you guys know, I just, just know that saying I don't own the rights to this song won't stop them from getting or taking down your video for a copyright claim. Just know that, uh, because they know you don't own the rights. <laughs> just saying that, uh, doesn't work but pizza yes uh i don't know what happened to the pizza it's like all the sauce got distributed uh like at the front so i this is stuffed crust pizza and tell me you guys can't tell me this doesn't look like the most delicious piece pizza you've ever seen in your life okay this camera is gonna look a little bit better let's go to this camera look at that oh my gosh look at that goodness stuffed crust too oh my goodness How absolutely awesome the picture quality on the Cosmos is. You guys can see here that the picture and the color is just true to tone and the saturation and just the color hue in general just looks absolutely brilliant on this. Let's go ahead and play a more high speed video so you guys can kind of see how that works and we're also gonna test the audio when we play the high speed video. All right guys, so we went ahead and switched over to my phone cam just so I can give you guys a little bit more of a true to tone depiction of how the sound is on the Cosmos. So let's go ahead and play this video and you guys will notice over here on the right side of the screen, I will turn it up gradually just so you guys can hear how good this sounds. You know, I still don't know what I did in this video. All right, so I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I still don't know what I did in this video that they took it down for or wouldn't let me upload it for. Um, But listen as I turn this up, just how good this sounds. The people that are wearing headphones right now, if any of you guys are, you're really gonna be able to tell how good the speakers on the Cosmos sound. 
Um, absolutely incredible. Super rich, and it has a deep bass, but not the type of bass that's just overbearing, and it just doesn't sound good anymore. So let me go back to the beginning of this. Just listen how good the speakers on this sound. Now it might get a, I'm gonna, sorry, I keep pausing it and unpausing it. It might get a little bit loud. So just the sound warning. If you guys have a gaming computer, you can download Steam Link. And what Steam Link is going to allow you to do is basically stream your games directly from your PC to this. So you guys can see right here, I have NBA loaded up. And we'll just go ahead and take a look at how good the game looks. And honestly, this is going to be such a great way to play video games. Honestly, it's so awesome that you're able to do this. And as you guys can see right there, I'm just super good at like pretty much every game I ever play. Let's see if I make it again. All right, I definitely should have made that. The game is definitely cheating me. <laughs> and as you guys can see right here that I actually have the overhead light on in my house and the brightness on this is acceptable. So if your wife comes in whenever you have the blackout curtains going and it's the middle of the day and you're watching football, you're still gonna be able to see what you were watching whenever she turns on those lights and tries to get you to get up and do dishes or something like that. So overall, my friends, Anchor absolutely <laughs> knocked it out of the park with the Cosmos. Now, I did not expect any less from Anchor because it seems like every single thing they touch and every new thing that they make, they just exceed and exceed and exceed my expectations. So if you guys have been looking for a really awesome projector, the Cosmos is definitely gonna be the one for you. With Android built in, Bluetooth, a stunning and vivid picture quality, and awesome speakers that get very loud but also don't sound bad whenever you do turn it up loud, this is just the projector that you guys definitely have to take a look at. So if you guys have been looking for a new one, like I said, definitely check out the Cosmos. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys have a great day. All right, so that was my longest video I've ever done. You guys can see, I mean, the Cosmos is definitely the top of the line projector that I've showed you guys today, um, or the most top of the line. Meatface says, I have no wife. You just said it so, uh, you said it so proper. I have no wife. My boy! I've abandoned my child! Um, I added the cool glitch effect at the end. Fun fact about that glitch is this video was shot entirely. Uh, so the voiceover, the video, and the editing was all done on my iPhone. All of it. Let me see what glitch you're talking about, though. Whenever you do turn it up loud to take a look at so if you guys have been looking for a new one like i said definitely check out the cosmos thank you for watching this video and i hope you guys have a great day oh yeah yeah i see what you mean but no all jokes aside i wasn't even joking but uh you guys just have to check it out i mean it's such a phenomenal projector so i have so many and football season is coming up and i in true dad fashion uh, have been coming up with the best way that I want to watch it. I think this is going to be my go-to projector for watching football now. Um, it's incredible. So you guys can see there that the 1080p version is 30% off, so down from $799 to $559. To, uh, Blake here. Blake's here. So from $799 down to $559, so over $200 today. It sure is, buddy. I'll drop a link in the chat first, and, and I'm just... Uh, just a couple of seconds. And then the 4K version, which is now highlighted, is 30% off as well. So down from 1599 to 1119 So tons of awesome deals. Tons of awesome deals. Jame here. So let me go ahead and load up the next product in today's stream. And I'm not even sure what it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's the Fantic X8. Uh... Price is no object. Good afternoon, Wiley. The Fantic X8 portable tire inflator 
This is the XA, uh, no, I'm, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. The XA Apex, which is 25% off, so 120 down to 90 bucks. Price is no object. I have everything. And I will drop a link in the chat right after this video starts playing. And don't forget, this is going to be a, what the heck? A doggo. And so this game is my... here. Oh, what? Dang it, it's Nikita. Had to come in and ruin, the, ruin, my, uh, ruin my surprise. Fantic X8 Apex Air Inflator. Uh, I've left it in the box because the box is honestly really nice and um, it's it's a really great storage system for the actual device itself that you can keep in your car and super easy. Um, here's the actual bad boy itself wrapped in a really nice plastic. I opened it just to check it out, but this is the actual first time I've completely unboxed the entire thing. And immediately you can see that it has a really nice sleek screen, um, a really, um, you know, it has a clicky interactive. No, he did not. I interrupted my pizza eating for this. And if he did call a box a storage system, I mean, he's not wrong, but morally he is. Here's the actual bad boy itself wrapped in a really nice plastic. I opened it just to check it out, but this is the actual first time I've completely unboxed the entire thing. And immediately you can see that it has a really nice sleek screen, um, a really, um, you know, it has a clicky interactive. So this is my Fantic X8 apex air inflator uh, i've left it in the box because the box is honestly really nice and um it's it's a really great storage system for the actual device itself that you can keep in your car and super easy um here's the actual bad boy itself wrapped in a really nice plastic i opened it just to check it out but this is the actual first time i've completely unboxed the entire thing and immediately you can see that it has a really nice sleek screen um a really um you know it has a clicky interactive panel i don't know if it has any charge in it because i just opened it i haven't charged it yet so it does have a little bit of charge so it's about half just out the out the box and then like I said the case is very uh, nice for storing it there's a little box under this soft part that has some accessories so if you just pull this out you can get to the accessory box and this is what's going to have the charger for the different tips for whatever you may be inflating whether it's like a basketball a car tire or um, you know a bike tire and then also the charger and stuff for it. I believe that's every, no, there's one more thing in here. Gosh, what a storage system. What a nice storage system. Vicky, you look pretty cool, I have to admit. Huh? Okay. Watch your mouth. Watch it. Watch your tone, boy. So yeah, so this is the main uh, cord for filling anything with air um, and then these are the different heads for the different devices and also a charger uh, and then of course it has like a nice little um, you know carrying pack for it too it feels really nice in the hand so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up and demonstrate it on my car tire so Vicky whenever I was visiting your husband's channel I saw that he plays Call of Duty seems like that's all he plays really that's all I play really so I need you to ask him a question Text him, or if he's around you, ask him. Ask him if he plays Rebirth. He will know what Rebirth is, and if you know what Rebirth is, I'm not trying to mansplain to you. Uh, just ask him if he plays Rebirth. It is inside of Warzone. L let me know. If you don't know, it's never it never hurts to check. Uh, to see what it might be and then when I'm ready to turn it on I just hit this power button right here and then it's good to go now what's also cool is that it has a light and a light button and this light's pretty bright uh, so it's just very helpful um, you know it has a strobe feature too it's just very helpful for if you're you know inflating a tire at night but basically um, all I have to do is remove the cap on here go ahead and get this screwed on all right, Vicky, we'll let him know that I, Dragon Blogger Nate, I have a 1.51 a KD, and if you would like to play some Rebirth sometime, I'm totally down. 1.5 KD. That's pretty good, chat. It's pretty good. It hits the recommended PSI, and then it will cut off on its own. 
So after running for about four minutes, it's at 34. I'm trying to get it to where I can see. It's at 34 when it's set to 35. So we're gonna see, um, you know, what happens when the PSI of the tire matches the PSI that it's set to. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit more time. It's taking about four minutes or so. Um, and I will say it's pretty loud. So now that it's gotten a 35. I don't blame you. Let's go. Let's just go ahead and mute that. All right, my friends, so that is the X8 Apex. If you guys need a new tire inflator, <laughs> it's a... <laughs> it's... <laughs> I got... I'm sorry, Chad. I didn't even get to explain why I made that noise. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to explain. <laughs> guys, probably... You guys probably think <laughs> you're not the first person that's told me that, Vicky. I've, I, I, and here's. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> Hold on. You guys remember when you're in school and you had to stop laughing, but the more you. Your teacher told you to stop laughing the harder you laugh that's what's going through right now oh man so i was trying to mock myself uh by saying um <laughs> it's been, you, you know it's uh i promise there's not drugs in my pizza i'm just giddy <laughs> it's better to ha it's better to have it and not need it than need it and i'll have it <laughs> no but I don't care. Uh, yes, it really is. But I'm not even going to say it again. Whatever. Uh, definitely check that out. You guys can save if I do quick maths. If I do quick maths, 90 bucks. No. Let's let's do real maths. Uh, about 30 bucks you guys can save on this right now. Oh, man. What is in the pizza? Maybe, <laughs> maybe these two slices do have some ecstasy or something in them. Who knows? Uh, the next product we're going to look at is the Fantic Evo 300 Portable Power Station. I'm going to pull a muscle keep if I keep laughing like this. I'm so out of dad shape. What's happening here? Okay. Okay. We're going to look at the product page, so let's do that properly then. Let us do this properly. Oh, okay. So, this is a product that we're going to be showcasing to you guys today. Uh, showing you the product page. So, you guys have seen the EcoFlow before. You've seen the other power station that I did. So, Fantic also makes a power, um, a power station. So, you guys can see that right here. You get 299 watt hours. So if you have something that runs 299 watts, basically 300 watts, it's going to be able to run for one hour. That's what that means. Now, if you have something that is 100 watts, it's going to be able to run for three hours. So you guys can see that it has real-time monitoring, two AC 110 up to two, two, okay, hold on. We're, we're, we're getting there, right? Chat, we're getting there, right? Two 110 outlets that can peak at 600 watts, uh, pure sine wave outlets, and I'm not going to act like I know what that means because uh, I don't. Right now, this is all, this is almost $100 off. It's 90 bucks off. It's 90 bucks off. Taking a look at the front, let's look at the pictures. You ain't denying they have magic mushrooms on top. Uh, no, I will deny it because first of all, 
Uh, mushrooms are gross. And if anybody ever puts a mushroom on my pizza, I'm fighting. I really, really, really like the design of this. You guys can see your, your power outlets are right there. They're grounded as well. You have your 12 volt outlet, US QC 3.0 USB A outlet. Two, you have two USB C outlets. This one can charge at 60 watts, USB 2.0. You have, uh, yep, those. Huge LCD or LED display right there. Remaining charge time it'll show. You're able to charge this from the wall, obviously. It's not you just it's not a disposable uh it's not a disposable <laughs> you don't buy this, you get to charge stuff one time. Uh so you can recharge it, obviously. Let me see. So it can charge a camera twenty one times, your iPhone twenty seven times, a drone five times, a MacBook Air five times. Four ways to recharge. So the wall outlet, your car outlet, a 90 watt wall outlet, and a solar input as well. So this is like for 200 bucks, if you guys go camping, take weekend trips a lot, even if it's not camping, just driving around, going and seeing stuff. This is a great weekend. Uh, now, obviously, this isn't going to be like the Delta Pro where it's going to last you through a, a week long storm or a two week long storm. But this is definitely going to get you through like a weekend camping trip. That's nice. I like this one a lot. It's 8.8 .8 pounds. You guys can see right there uh, that it's not that big. That's what she said. Uh, and why does this guy have such just like picture a man's hands? He has those like I don't I, I look at look at my little e. <laughs> uh, but picture a man's hands. That guy has them. Nice. Uh, I want to go where that's at. Alaska, probably. Comes with the user manual accessory bag. The car cigarette charging cable. USB-C to USB-C. Your AC wall charger. And if we look at the reviews, 78%. That's a high five-star rating. We don't have a single one-star rating. 78% of people say that this is uh, five star worthy. I mean, just look at it. Look at uh, they're looking at it too. Gee, dang it. They're stealing the shine. Uh, very nice. No, we're not. No, we're not because we no, no, because no. Vicky's talking about magic mushrooms that disappear whenever you like go like that and they uh, no, so if you guys need a new, uh, hey, chat, I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, yeah, definitely check that out from Fantique. I don't know how you say it, Fantic. I'm going to say Fantic because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, so rolling on in the next product, the Fantic T8 Apex 2000 car jump starter is the next product, and this is 51% off. Wow. Wow. We will get in trouble if you guys keep talking about illegal drugs. I don't know what's going on today. I didn't even take my medicine today. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe I should go do that. I'm going to go do that. What was the site for Darth Vader? Ugh, Boston B, really? Ow. Okay. Okay. So I, that's immediate, immediate karma. I almost pulled a muscle. Oh, tomatoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just kidding, Boston B. I got you. Uh, uh, you guys remember the show Cat Dog? Yeah, I need to take my medicine. My mind is all over the place. It is all over the place. Here's the site for Darth Vader, by the way. It's going to be drawn live on Wednesday. Granted that we don't have any issues with printing this. Dragonblogger.com forward slash winvader. That is the link. And let's watch the next product, which is the T8 Apex 2000.
Oh man, you know what? Specifically, I'm I'm gonna say this to Vicky. You know what just feels good? You know what just feels good? Knowing that I just pull fire. You know what I mean? Or whenever I have somebody else just pull fire for me. Like that Mew, you know? You know what I mean, right? Because you 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 pulled that that alt art Mew V like three or four times. So you know the feeling, right? Because you've definitely pulled that card specifically within the last six months that you've been watching the stream. It just happens so often because I've only been around like two or three streams. So you know, right? <laughs> oh man, chat. I I gotta get it together. Yes. Yes. You know what that reminds me of? Have you seen the video of the cat going, Yes. Yes. He's like, Are you hungry? And the cat, it's obviously meowing, but they did the voiceover and was like, Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. Let me go take my medicine. <laughs> I'll be right back. And I'm going to eat this pizza too. James here. Today, a quick unboxing and showcase of a new product. This is from Fantique. This is their T8 Apex. This is a 20,000 milliamp power bank. But this is not just a power bank. This is a, you know, like a car jump starter. You can jump your battery with this. You can, you know, it'll jump cars up to 8.5 liters for gas and 6 liter for diesel engines. So it can jump a pretty big vehicle very easily. Now, this has a 65 watt fast charger it'll charge in about an hour and a half to two hours guys and it'll stand by for about 24 months so if you're on a full charge you'll have about 24 months standby charge it'll hold that charge that is very very decent it also has a three inch lcd screen guys on this so you can read the battery output if it has an error start on out you know, and all that good stuff. Now, like I said, it does have the jumper cables for this to jump start your car. This is IP65 water resistant. This is a 94VO flame retardant, so it's a kind of flame retardant, flame resistant. This will work in weather conditions from minus 4 to 140 degree Fahrenheit, which is very decent, but if you're like me, it hits minus 4 very easily up here. So just remember that. It I'm back. We'll charge in the. Speaking of ads, I got to run to the pharmacy to drop off my script. Good luck. Good luck, my friend. You will need it. You know what? <laughs> you know how I said that and it sounded so ominous? I used to have, I don't want to say friend, but somebody that was in my high school classes that. The tone of his voice sounded ominous, like something bad was always going to happen. So, for example, if he was asking the the teacher a question um, about, I don't know, an English paper, he'd be like, so, and he was just, a, it, was, it was kind of a weird guy, I'm not going to lie. You drawing and I win, can I still give yours to Vicky? Yeah, you sure can. Uh, he would be like, so, if essay has to be 500 words does that mean that it also has to be in a specific font like that's how he spoke all the time i definitely will darren um have fun and good luck darren you will need it you will need it you can use this in about five minutes if you really need it, but it takes about one and a half hours hey. to fully charge, guys. Remember that? Yeah. As you know, pretty fast for a 65 watt charger. You can also charge your phones off this. You can charge your laptops off this. You can charge all kinds of different stuff with this device. Now, it is a 12 volt device. Like I said, you can charge a 12 volt off this with the 20,000 milliamp, but it will only use about 2,000 peak currents when doing it very cool now we're gonna pull it open and show you guys what you really get inside in here but you know it also has an LED you know you have an LED in here you can you know to battery capacity of the 20,000 milliamp with a smart uh, chip so you shouldn't have a problem you can jump start your motorcycle with this if you really needed that 
you know, a lot of people need something like that. You charge your earbuds, you can charge your smartwatch, you know, electric oh. razors and GoPros and all, okay. anything that you can think of, guys, you can charge with this. I mean, I cannot, you know, oh. debate that that's not cool. Pretty much to use it, you connect the clamps, you know, you know, press the start button and, and then start your vehicle and it should start it. Pretty simple, very easy. So, what do you get inside this? Well, let's pop it open. I will actually need to cut a tag because I did not see the tag on this. <laughs> okay, go on. So let's go cut on. the tag. Plain, go. simple, yeah, brown good. box. Very heavy box, guys. This weighs a pretty good amount. Oh, Pulling it open. Inside here, we'll pull that out. Woo! Inside here is another box. So we have a box inside of a box. I bet you guys didn't get dog 11 today, did you? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, Dicky. Hi. Uh -huh. Do you guys, if you guys speak to, uh, if you guys speak to your dogs or your cats, do you guys, uh, speak, uh, in like baby voice? Let me know if you guys speak in baby voice. Box of so the plane box right here, guys. And then you have this very phenomenal black box with their ghost kind of I'm sorry, but if you if you have dogs and you talk to them, which most people do, if you don't speak in a baby voice when addressing your dogs, you are a certified psychopath. You have to. You have to. It's law. I don't know. If it's not law, start the petition because we need to make it that way. 20,000 milliamp power bank. So inside this, if it'll come open, it's got a nice little suction in here. Okay, doesn't want to pop open. Is the device itself, and like I said, the device is large. So, large. What do I mean by large? This is what I mean by large. This is the device. Large device. Right here is your outlet plugs. Pop this open, guys. I'll try to show you this as a type USB-C. So the fat one, that gave me a hug. So the fat one that gave me a hug was Ninja. Do you guys want to see a photo of him when he was a puppy? Uh, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. You do want to see a photo of him when he was a puppy. Because fun fact, he was the cutest puppy that's ever existed. No, he's fat. You stand corrected, Jeanette. Ninja is fat. <laughs> look at this little, look at this little guy. All right, chat. All right, hold on. I got to close the door for this. So here's the deal, chat. Here's the deal. I need you guys to picture a puppy. Picture a cute puppy in your mind. Let me clean off my phone screen. Picture a cute puppy in your mind and just envision a puppy that is just adorable. This right here, and I'm not just saying this because it's my dog. I'm not just saying this. If I separate Ninja from what he looked like and just try to look at it completely non-biased, tell me this isn't the cutest puppy you've ever seen in your life. Are you ready for this? Look at how, <laughs> look at that. Look at that, chat. That is the cutest puppy you've ever seen in your life. Hands down, without a doubt, the cutest puppy that's ever existed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's there's some puppies that are cute. I, I just, how do they get cuter than that? How do they? They I don't think they do. I don't think they do. And he was a little poser too. Not like a poser trying to be something like he posed. Like he sh he, he was striking a pose. Look at that. Look at him posing. He's a poser. Evans, get out. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Get out of here, Evans. 
<laughs> all jokes aside. Uh, oh, man. Yes, you're right. And then they grow up. And they are jerks. He's still a good boy, though. He's just a fat boy now that's grumpy. He's just like me. Oh, the James video is muted. Sorry, chat. Cables. They give you Like how James cables, started guys. Justin. This is a USB. I forgot that even though I can hear it, you guys can't. B to USB-C, so you have the USB to USB-C cable. What else do you have? You have USB-C to USB-C. Both of these are about four or five foot cables with Velcro straps and their logos. Cool enough to add these. What else is in here? Let's go ahead and jump through this video because I feel like we are making terrible time today. We definitely are. We are not making good time. There. And then we'll grab my phone right here. We'll plug this in, USB-C. We're on. We're charging. So... There you guys go. 34 minutes to full charge. Very easy, very quick, very simple. Remember, make sure this is fully charged, guys. This is the Fantic T8 Apex. All right, that is the Fantic T8 Apex 2000 Jump Starter. The Fantic T8 Apex comes with just a wide range of high performance, high stability, and... Uh, High performance, high stability, and easy to use features with a unique muscle car look. So you guys got to check that out. Yeah, you like that? I totally made that up and didn't just read that off of a note. Uh, the uh, the Ufi 2C, the Ufi, the Ufi Cam 2C Pro is the next product in today's stream. And let's see how much it's it's on sale for. Ow. Uh, ow. Man, I can't believe I'm, like, my neck muscles have, still haven't, like, fully healed from pulling my muscle the other day. Wow. 20, 28% off. Down from 319 to 229. So if you do the math correctly, you're saving at least $7. At least seven. So let's take a look at it. Because Yuffie is just... Uh, oh, man. I can't wait for this guy to be done. Let me get an F in chat if this is something that you guys are looking forward to potentially winning. F in chat if you're looking forward to potentially winning Darth Vader, or an L in chat if you don't care if you win Darth Vader or not. Be completely honest. Be completely honest. Okay, all right. L in chat if you don't care, or you're just indifferent. F if you are. All right, Vicky, calm down, Vicky, all right? Calm down. I said one F. I didn't say type five of them. Porphyrius, my friend. Welcome. L. Terry Quick is like, eh, I'll take it, but I'll take it if you do it. But yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to ask Vicky to just calm it down. Pump okay, all right. Oh yeah, okay. Do it again, Vicky. Vicky, do it again. Suffer the consequences.
And no, I'm not trying super hard to act like I'm not out of breath. What is Elio Elawoe? Let me see. Mr. Nate, are you okay? Probably not. Evans? Now calm down. Now calm down. Did we all learn a valuable lesson today? I did. And that's that I'm out of shape. Uh, so what? The chair is very durable. I'm not kidding. Look at that. Look how durable it is. Ready? Let's just smack my own shoulder. That's fine. That was very poor Ferris. That was that was aggressive. My five year old daughter would kick your butt and stand on top of your remains. It sounds like something samurais would have said. See how Vicky hasn't said anything in a while? I do have I have five Oh my, what the heck just happened? <laughs> How did that happen? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three. I have seven lightsabers right there. Last thing you want me to do is take one of those bad boys off of the wall. That was weird. I don't. I think it was caught on something, so when I tried to pull it away, it had, like, back pressure. Just went, but, yeah. I don't even know where what we were talking about. Let me, let me, I gotta go back up. Learned that from Catholic upbringing. Uh, me? I'm, I'm, I'm not Catholic. Uh, okay. I don't know what started this conversation, but we're going to go ahead and continue on and watching the Yuffie Cam 2C Pro. You know, with the uptick in crime around neighborhoods lately, it's probably a good reason to maybe reach out and get yourself a little security system. Maybe you don't want to reach out and get a full house system or just a simplified system. Well, today we're taking a quick look at the Yuffie 2C uh, set up here guys this is a two set uh, cameras at 1080p guys this is a completely wireless system now the cool part about that is as I open this up we will talk about a few of the things one is that it has a 180 day battery life which means these cameras can be used without any tr capability of wires on a charge for 180 days that is just amazing now the cool part is this is a full on kit guys they do have their welcome book and user manual if you guys need that we're going to chuck this aside we're going to get to the nitty gritty of it first you have your home base this is what you'll set up and connect to your router then you have your two cameras and we'll get to that in a second right but then we'll grab the other box that's in here and the empty shell. We don't need the empty shell. We're going to keep this over here so you guys can see this. User manual, definitely cool. Now, the base. Back here you have a USB plug. You have your Ethernet or RJ45 plug. You have, I believe this is a sync alarm button, guys. And then you have your power plug. Now, what I mean by completely wireless the cameras are wireless. This device does need to be plugged in for power, of course. Now this has 16 gigabytes of stalled memory inside, which is cool. That's about three months of charge time or record time, I should say, of video. Now, 
1080p, it should only record when it is detected. Well, if you have it inside your house, it may detect more, so it may record more. So you may have to go back and forth and making sure what you got on video is clear. Very simple, very easy, nice little white box. Can set anywhere, pretty much literally looks like a little uh, diffuser, oil diffuser or something. No one would really notice it's there unless they read that it says UFI security. Now you have the two small, and I mean small cameras. These are actually really small with a little bit of weight, guys. I am blown by, uh, by the weight on this device. Now you have the front screen, which I could pull this off, kind of stick this over, bring this a little closer to you, right? So you do have this, this is an LED lighting. It will spotlight. This is motion detection. This is your camera, and then you have your microphone and speaker. You can actually talk through this. Now the cool thing is, is you just click sync and it will sync to this device. Then you have the, I believe this is a 3 8 screw for like mounting it, which is cool that you have. So Mama Siren, I realize I never answered. Yes, I do want to duel. I do want to duel, but my question now is what are the stakes, huh? What are the stakes of our duel? Those cameras with this kit. That is just amazing. Now inside here is gonna be the rest of all of your pieces that you need. And I'm gonna kinda of go through all this. First you have, of course, your power brick, guys. This power brick is what powers the main device. So you will need that, you will need that to power it at all times. There will be stakes. Not yourself. LOL. I was sort of laughing at the thought of you running around the house humming the Superman theme. <laughs> yeah. I can picture Vicky doing that. Not a big deal. Everybody has a power outlet. Now, guys, you can connect this up with Wi-Fi, so that means you can run it Wi-Fi. Now, the cool part is they give you charging cables. Remember, you only have to charge this device literally once every half year. So you have a USB to micro USB let you plug it in, charge it. They also give you a flat wound RJ45 ethernet cable. Then they give you the best part of the whole kit, guys. And that is, let me make sure, oh, and there's actually more thing. Luckily I looked. So this is your mounting devices for these cameras. And that's the cool part. The mounting devices, guys, you literally, have like almost a tripod kind of mount, right? So you unscrew this just like this. This will come apart. Then you take that apart and you mount this to the wall. By doing that, you use the little screws that are provided with the anchor mounts if you're going into sheetrock and stuff. If you're going into a solid beam, the screws will probably just do you fine. Don't worry about it. Two sets of those guys, since you have two cameras, you screw that into the wall this into the wall, preset this back into the mount, right? Which gives you that base. Then you set the ball into this, come back out, and then you can angle this however you want that to be angled. And it's, it's movable, guys. Then you grab your camera, screw this onto your camera, screw the camera onto it, right? Just like that. You're mounted and you set point and go. Now, I'm going to actually mount one of these somewhere and I will show you guys that mounted uh, after I mount it. So you have two of those full set, guys. 16 gigabytes of memory. Now, I'm going to go mount one of these and we'll be back in a second. Okay, as you see, guys, I have this mounted way high up on a beam. That is my final placement. Now, there will be some tweaks and adjustments to where I have the camera angled or where it's pointing at at some point but next is to actually connect up the system and get it working but that'll be you know a whole nother thing but i just wanted to show you guys what comes in this what you get and how it looks mounted thanks for checking out this video and have a great one so yes sir my yes sir porphyrius uh it is more vader printing i want to show you something being that you're very well versed in 3d printing as well uh what are we laughing at Fausto? you know what are we laughing at? He is pretty daft. That Vader, he's so daft. <laughs> You're on your phone. So I'm going to show you something. 
I think this is one of the prints that I've done that has the least amount of visible layer lines I've, 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 I've ever seen. Just look at this. Look at how not, uh, let me switch to the other camera to be better. Look at how not visible the layer lines are on this. I mean, look what? I mean, you can see the Z seam right here. That's normal. You can't get rid of that, really. You can't even see layer lines. I mean, you have to, like, look, look. It almost looks like resin in a way. Uh, but, yes, so his his right leg or his right part of his right leg is printing because this already has his legs in it, half of his legs. Uh, so his right calf and foot is printing, and this is what we've got done so far. That looks like resin. I'm sorry, the Anycubic Cobra is just a workhorse because that truthfully does look like resin. It just looks incredible. Wow. Randomized disease seam. I've heard about doing that. I haven't done that yet, though. I don't think I've ever even seen the setting. I'm sure it's there, but yeah. So the next product we're going to look at is the Eufy Smart Lock. Eufy Smart Lock, which is 50 bucks off right now. 40 bucks off right now. Do you use Cura as your slicer? So here I've just recently installed my latest and greatest Eufy security door lock. I absolutely love the Eufy security uh, smart lock that I have in my back door and now I have one for my front door. So this one's a little different from my other one, whereas the other one has Wi-Fi built in. This one has... Uh, a Wi-Fi bridge that it comes with and it's over here and you have to make sure you set it up through the device but it's super easy to set up and basically that thing connects to Wi-Fi which connects to your lock via Bluetooth and then you're able to use it with the app so I'm just gonna show you some so what printers what printer or printers do you have or furious because I can't remember which one you had on the you have the the Ender 3 Pro I believe the Ender 3 Pro is that what you have if you want to you can also use a code which i have preset but i don't want to show you guys what my code is uh, just for security reasons and then of course it has a thumbprint scanner that i can just simply use and now it's locked it so as you can see and then i just put my thumbprint back on there to unlock it and boom i can get back in now i i love it because it's it was so easy to set up it only took about 15 minutes. Uh, I didn't even have to replace the little guard on the inside of my door because the one that was with my previous lock worked, but I did have to install the Eufy style deadbolt and then of course both sides of the actual lock itself and it was super easy. Now one thing that I love about the Eufy security system as a whole is the Eufy security app. So as you can see, this is the Wi-Fi bridge that I have which allows me to use my door when I'm away from home because it connects to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth But as you can see the front door is unlocked and we can double check right here that is unlocked Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the actual app and all you have to do is drag down to lock So I'm going to drag it down So you can see drag down and release and then it locks on its own. Now what's really cool is, as you can see, I got a notification up here that says the, the front door has been locked. Now what that's what I think is also cool is that you can see all of the events that happen. <laughs> yeah, and the ender line is really nice. So my two 3D printers, I've had three total. I've had three total, but I've worked on four total or used four total. So I have the Anycubic Cobra, which has been, I mean, as close to plug and play as I've ever seen. A, a 3d printer b uh, it's got auto mesh leveling and the auto leveling on this one's a little bit different than normal it doesn't have a probe well it does but that little sensor right here the one that has the yellow tip on it that i'm pointing to that is a it's a metal detector for that pei sheet uh then i have an ender 3 max which is off screen uh, i do have that modded a few different ways. I have a custom compiled firmware that I installed on it, and then I have a, uh, um, how am I blinking? A CR touch, conductivity sensor. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then I have a CR touch that is on it, and I don't even use the CR touch bed leveling procedure. 
what I do is I just use that to set my Z offset and then manually level uh, using a G code that brings the nozzle to all four corners. Uh, but I don't use a CR touch because I just, I don't know. I only use it for the Z offset. That's it. But if you guys need a new smart, uh, a new smart lock, definitely check that one out from Eufy. Like I said, it's 40 bucks off right now. Yeah, that's that. I prefer manually leveling too. Uh, I just, I only use that. The only reason I use that is for, um, is for uh, the, the Z offset because I have a Z offset wizard in the custom firmware that I have installed uh, that just makes setting that Z offset just butter smooth, very easy. I also, oh yeah, the other mod that I did to it is because it had the glass bed. And while I have used the standard, like, you know, the original Ender 3 mat, I don't even know what you would want to call that. I have used that. And then I went to, and then I went to a glass bed. The glass bed was definitely a lot better than the standard uh than the standard bed i switched over to pei after using p this comes with pei the anycubic cobra so i switched over to that on my ender 3 and uh so much better first layer adhesion is amazing and the texture that you get from pei sheets uh the texture that you get from pei sheets on your first layer makes it not look like it's 3d printed alexander thank you for the follow i appreciate that so i always have this one as my kind of stream printer so people can watch uh i always have this as my stream printer and then in the background what you guys can't see right there uh in the background i have the ender 3 max running uh just bigger jobs so right now i have a three-day pokemon printing and some of the supports already fell off, but they're the front supports, and I don't think it's going to cause too much of an issue. I hope not, but I'm already well over a day in, and I'm not going to stop it just because a few of the the normal supports broke off. Uh, the next product is the Dilele, Dilele 45-inch computer desk with monitor stand. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I bought uh that's one of the reasons I bought the Ender 3 Max for my first 3D printer is because of the uh the silent 32 bit board. My Daylily amazing 45 inch gaming desk. And I'm super excited about using it, but let me show you all some of the cool features. So first off, it came with this really nice, amazing, you know, pad that you can use. Oh, uh, for furious, you know, that's your right. mouse, your so one of the things I wanted to ask you, did you see that there is a, uh, let me message you on Discord because first of all, you need to get entered to win this this giveaway. They're drawing eight winners on September something uh, for a 3D printer. Is this weird young tater? No, this is uh, Nikita. This is Nikita. All right, so I got to find this real quick. So G Tech or it's G E E E Tech, they're coming out with a 3D printer that its base speed, or it can print up to 300 millimeters a second. Oh my gosh! And they're they're giving away eight of them. 300 millimeters a second. Now I didn't I didn't believe that it would be worth it for uh I can't share links outside of it. I can't share links outside of Discord. But if you guys want to message me on Discord, I'll share the link for you. Cuz I don't I can't share it on here. It's not our giveaway. Uh but 300 millimeters a second so I was like, okay, you're got, you you have to sacrifice on quality. On their product page, on their website for it. They uh, they print a Benchy. It prints in like 30 minutes, 28 minutes, and you can't tell that it was printed at 300 millimeters a second. It looked, it looked perfect. So I'm gonna share the link to you, Porphyrius, on Discord right now. All right, there you go. But yeah, 300 millimeters a second, that would be incredible. If they, if I don't win one, if I don't win one, I might, I might buy it. I'm not kidding you. It's got like a 300 by 300 build build volume too, so it's definitely gonna be pretty cool. 
Evans, message me on Discord real quick. I got you, actually. Evans, do you have the Lucky Clover on your uh, Discord? Is that you? But anyways, definitely check out that desk. Nikita did a fantastic job. The JBL Quantum 100 is the next product in today's stream that uh, is 25% off. So down from 40 bucks to 30 bucks. Nice. You guys can save 10 bucks on it. All right, I sent you the link. The quick unboxing of a new product. This is from JBL. This is their JBL Quantum 100s, guys. This is a wired 3.5 millimeter jack style uh, headset with detachable microphone. So it does have a boom mic, guys. Yes, that's right. Boom mic. Now, it is supposed to be compatible with PC, Mac, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and most other consoles so you or handheld devices. So you should be good there. Now, they do claim that it is uh, with echo canceling technology, which will allow the you know a little bit of a noise background removal but we'll we'll be the test of that we will actually test the sound of the mic on this video also but first let's pop it open and give you guys your first look and i did not come prepared so gotta grab my handy handy dandy knife down here and kind of get rid of the tape if i can my knife is not the sharpest anymore so, as you guys can see, just their standard JBL box with their logo showing it, showing you handheld devices and other devices. Shows you their little quantum little symbol there, right? So, let's pop it open, give you guys a look. And then we'll, we'll get down to testing this. Inside here, just, you know, egg carton style, nothing else, right? Just a simple box here. So... The first thing we get is the manual with the microphone. And I apologize, guys, if the lighting is not the best in here. I have been down for the count and sick, so we haven't had really adjusted lighting and fixed lighting in here. Got some bulbs out. So, just a little logo, right? The JBL Sounds Quality logo. A little user manual if you guys really need this. It's not going to tell you much that you don't know. 3.5 millimeter jack, right, guys? Uh, you may need an adapter if you need the dual plug. Just so you know, boom mic, right? Wind pop on it. 3.5 styles plug. And then we have the headset. This comes in three colors, black, blue, and... Well, welcome back, Rising Siren. White. I believe I have, like, the navy blue or whatever color. Yeah. We have the navy blue one. So... Nicely wrapped up, you know. Uh, plastic headset right here, guys. So it's a plastic, plastic style. But it's there. We have the right and left cups. Which is pretty cool. Right here you have the volume on it. So it does have a volume gain. And it has a mute button. The mute button seems a little cheap. Now you also have your little plug-in style right here, guys. This is where you'll plug in your boom mic. See if we can get it to plug in properly. There we go. Plugged in, right in. Now, let's try it on. It actually sits on well, no problem there. It is a single 3.5 millimeter jack, guys. So if you guys give me a second, I'll give it a splitter and show you guys what you might need if you have a PC. Okay. Okay, guys, now that I got the splitter, I'll show you guys this. It has the mic separate microphone and separate headset plug plus the one input. So if you're using your PC like your main PC and you have the dual plug style, you may need this adapter. It doesn't come with it, but you may need it. So you just singly plug it in, right, guys, onto their nice 3.5 millimeter Brady cable. As you guys can see, it is blue. They do give you a nice cable. So you will need to connect it up, like, you know, into your headset and stuff and hook it up that way. If you're using just like to your, your mobile phone to game, then your th regular 3.5 millimeter jack will work. Unless your phone doesn't have 3.5 millimeter jack. That could be a problem. So just remember that guys, there are options out there. Like if you need a, 
let's say your phone's a USB-C plug and you don't have a 3.5 millimeter plug. Well, then you'll have to go out and grab you an adapter to make that work also. Because a lot of phones nowadays or devices are not 3.5 millimeter jack style. But very easy, very simple, you guys. I'm going to plug this in and connect this up. And the next rest of this test is actually going to be from the microphone. So if you guys give me a second, we will connect that up and give you guys your first look at the microphone. Okay, guys, now that we got the headset hooked up, this is everything from the JBL Quantums. This microphone is actually hooked up, and I will bring it closer so you guys can see it a little peak a little higher, or I'll move it away so you can't. But microphone mute. Let me hit the mute real quick and see how it works. All right, my friend. So we're going to go ahead and cut that video short. That is the JBL Quantum. You guys can save $10 on that. But it is giveaway time. So if you guys aren't entered, here is the link right now in chat. If you guys are good to go and you've already gotten entered, just go ahead and give me an F in the chat. Give me an F and I'll know that you guys are ready. It is gift card giveaway time. X. So Porphyrius, go ahead and get entered then if you're not entered. Is X close to F on the keyboard? You can't enter? Yes, you can. Are you saying you you legitimately you're having an issue entering? Or it's not a physical prize. It's a gift card. So you, you should Oh no, you can't enter because you're part of our team. That's right. I forget your Dragon Blogger staff. I forget you stream on Twitch. On the channel that is Twitch. So we got a bunch of F's in chat. What is T? What is T? Travel Diva, what is T? Fell asleep a bit. Did you get entered earlier, Blake? We're about to do the first gift card giveaway right now. So that's good. You just showed up in time. Travel Diva, what's happening? What is happening right now? You did wake up on TM. I'm just concerned about Travel Diva. Is anybody not entered? Let me know right now. All right, Vicky. Um, <laughs> you're going to wake the dragon again, huh? All right, see you later, Porphyrius. Um, let me know how much it costs you to ship that. Let me know how much it costs you to ship that because I don't want you to just give me a Raspberry Pi. And I'll, I'll pay you for it, too. Okay, T is pulled out, Travel Diva name. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get entered. Or we're going to go ahead and do the uh, first drawing today. And the first gift card winner is going to be Jeff C. Jeff C, congratulations. Are you in chat? You have 60 seconds. Time now. And Jeffrey. Jeff C, are you here? Sam Bit, you did not miss another. We're doing it right now. It wasn't you, but is Jeff? Jeff is here. Jeff is here. Congratulations, Jeff, on your $5 Amazon gift card. I will make sure Justin knows that you are the winner of that one. Uh, if you guys didn't win, don't get too discouraged because we do have another gift card here in just a little bit. Uh, so congratulations. F's in chat, F's in chat. Spam it, spam it, spam it. The JBL Clip 4 is the next uh, product that we're going to be taking a look at. And uh, it is two, 30 bucks off right now. 30 bucks off, my friends. That's a, that's a good deal. Such a good speaker that I saw a ton of people using it in Iraq when I was there. Locals included. Not even joking. See you later, Porphyrius. 
So this is my little JBL Clip 4 speaker. I just unboxed it and connected it to my phone. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate how it works and everything. It's really super simple. I like to listen to music while I shower. And so this is going to be a nice little thing that I can clip onto my shower stand and use. It is waterproof. Um, it, it says that on the casing for it that it is IP67 waterproof and dustproof and has up to 10 hours of playtime. Um, it's really easy to use. As you can see, this little light is on and not flashing, so that's how you know it's connected. It has two buttons right here that you can kind of see. This is the power button. You just hold it for a little bit to turn it on, and then if you want to connect it to a Bluetooth, you just hold this for about two seconds, and then you're good. As you can see on the front, it has some controls for play, increase volume, and decrease volume. I'm going to play some music here from my phone so you guys can hear how it sounds. So just automatically, you can see, and I'm gonna go ahead and raise the volume. Nice, and then lower the volume also. And then um, I can also just hit this button and stop it. So as you can see, it's a really nice little speaker. It does have a good amount of volume and bass to it, and it's just really nice overall to use. So if you're looking for a nice little speaker that fits I will, those I, needs, I will, uh, definitely check this one out. I will definitely call you that from now on. Bye, things. I don't want to say buy things though. I'm gonna say now buy things is actually buy things sounds better. Uh, but yeah, definitely check that out. That's what you're used to. Yeah, it's what I'm used to too. I have to purposely think about it. Uh, the Amazon Fire TV, 65 inch, 4K Ultra HD Omni series has a crazy deal on it right now at 330 big ones off. 330 big ones off. So let's go ahead and watch that. James here. Today with a little uh, showcase of a new product. As you guys can see, we're in front of a big TV. This is the new Amazon Omni 4K TV, guys. This is their Fire TV. This is voice activated, guys. This is the 65 inch version. Just remember 65 means corner to corner. So you're gonna have about 62 inches across. The legs here are rather wide, so just remember that, guys. They are a wide leg. They are about 49 inches in width, so you will need a large stand to put them up there. Now, that does come with the remote control if you guys need the remote control. This is Alexa activated, guys, so you can use that. This also has the button where you can talk to it, power button to turn it on. Plus your four apps at the bottom. You have the Amazon app, you have the Netflix, you have Hulu, Disney right there. You can get into your settings or live TV. Now one thing it comes with is this extended cord here and this is for infrared controllers. So if you want to add an aftermarket controller instead of using that one, like you know, Harman Kardon or something, this you have to plug it in and set it up so you have the control. Or you have an extended control to go farther does come with a instruction book guys if you guys really need that but we really don't okay now this guys is a 38 by 40 by 2160 i believe uh resolution this is full 4k uhd this does have the dolby uh vision so you guys when it connects up if the movie has dolby vision it automatically detects and takes over all the settings which is very very cool now, the only downside to this TV is it is a 60 hertz TV. It's not 120 hertz. Now, you have four HDMI ports, guys, on the side over here. You have three normal HDMI ports, and then you have the eARC or ARC HDMI port, which back feeds sound to, like, your home theater. If you guys have a home theater, it'll back feed it. You also have coaxial, Ethernet, uh, fiber or optic uh, for audio, in there. So if you guys want to turn the TV on, just go, Alexa, turn the TV on. Okay. As you guys see, she's going to turn it on. Now, if you don't want her listening to you and don't want to talk to her, down here is a button or a switch that you can switch over just like that. Now, Alexa, Alexa can't hear us. See, she's not talking to us. So we shut the TV off. Watch this. Alexa, turn the TV on does not work until you flip the switch back over and say, Alexa, turn TV on. Alexa, thank you. There she is. 
Thank back. you. <laughs> so, we can back out. Now, Smart TV. Every app you can think of, including Prime Video. So, if you guys are a Prime member, your Prime Video is in here. You have Netflix, IMP, DTV, YouTube, and all the others. This gives you a list of, uh, the, like, recently watches if you want, sponsored, you know, all the apps, movies, if you guys need to rent them, pay for them. Now, every app you uh, have uh, logged in will show movies in these lists, so you get a pick of what you're logged into, and it will show you throughout the stuff, so you don't have to actually go through it all. Now, the one thing you guys can, uh, can do also here is go into settings. If you guys really need some settings, quick settings. Down here you have picture settings, sound settings, or info. The info will tell you that we're just in 296p launcher mode. So we're not in full 4K. But if you want to go in picture mode, you can come up here and you can change it from standard, movie, dynamic, sport, or custom. Same with sound or advanced settings. Now, if you need more full... I feel like this is a fantasy of yours that you want me to do this in public. I used to do that, like, public uh, public disturbance stuff in Walmart. Like, I would just scream, help, in the middle of an aisle. And when somebody would, like, come look, I would just act like it wasn't me and I'd be looking at stuff at, on the shelves. I was a little heathen when I was a teenager. And preferences. So, Bluetooth devices. We can connect up Bluetooth devices to this. Now, I'm not sure why she went there, but she's just ignoring us. So we can add Alexa remotes, game controllers. Or okay, I'll make you feel a little bit better about it. One of the things that I did a lot is I would ask for somebody, like a Walmart employee for help, and like act like I was looking for something. And then I would just be like, do you have... And so they'd be looking at the shelf and they'd be, <laughs> they would like look at me and be and be like, do we have what? Or they just stare at me and I would just sit there like I was thinking and uh, I would just look for ever, like 30 seconds to a minute at a time. Uh, so that was one of the things I used to do. But if you guys need a new TV, $330 off on that. The next product in today's stream is the Innocent Innocent portable monitor. Uh, this is an OLED 4K monitor. It is 100 big ones off. You know what I'm thinking about doing, Vicky? And I'm not even kidding. I'm thinking about selling a ton of stuff that I have on hand that I don't have to show on hand anymore, like maybe some, some old projectors. And just taking that money and going to Walmart and buying as many Pokemon cards as possible. And I'll see them. This is their 15.6 inch portable monitor. Now this is an OLED. This is a thousand or a hundred thousand to one contrast ratio, guys. It does do one millisecond um, plus 60 hertz, guys. It's going to be super bright, nice and colorful at a 1080p at a hundred thousand to one contrast ratio which is great now the 60 hertz is also great now guys inside here you have the 15.6 inch monitor plus the cords plus i believe uh, actual monitor stand slash carrying case i'm going to show you guys that now it will have the mini hdmi cable to hdmi and it should have the usb-c or usb to usb-c so let's pop it open and kind of give you guys your first look and as you guys see, we have this first box that we're greeted with, and we'll pop this open and see what we get in the first box. Now, of course, we're going to have to fight this slightly. See you later, Sheila. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. Yes, like I thought. So inside this box, I'm going to set the other box start. Right here is actually the case for this. This is kind of cool. Now, we'll kind of show you guys this. So they actually give you a nice little shell case right here, right? So inside this, this is where you'll actually slip in your monitor, and it's a soft shell, right? You slip the monitor in here, then you have this thing that actually can convert into like the uh, stand-up leg, which is really cool to actually have that. And we'll actually figure out how that works in a few minutes. 
but we'll get to that back in a second. So we're gonna set that aside. And then inside here, guys, we actually have this sheet that's called, uh, actually tells you about- Let's go ahead and skip to the good part. Let's skip to the good part. There we go. So that's volume all the way up, right? Let's go into play solo. Let's play a little gaming. Give you guys a quick little look at this, right? It's actually quite bright, quite impressive. And it might take a few seconds to load the game, of course, since I probably haven't played it in a while. So we're now loaded. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dim some light. Well, Sina, did you hear my idea? Did you hear my idea? Should I should I just drop should I drop a ban should I drop stacks on Pokemon cards? I think I should. I think I should. Oh, maybe I should wait to do that though for uh Lost Origins. Ooh, I should wait to Lost Origins and just rip a ton of Lost Origins all at once. Ooh, yes. It's the, yeah. It's the responsible thing to do. I have a kid on the way. I probably, I'll probably split it half and half. We've already started her savings account um, for college and stuff like that. And I got very fortunate that my grandfather started a, some type of trust fund, money market savings account, something he, I don't know. And so that it was for me to inherit, but I'm going to use that to give to Sailor as her uh, college fund. Should she decide she wants to go to college. Oh, tree caught up with me. Did you see that guys? Head into the downtown area, right? Oh, into the water, and I crashed. All good. Reset real fast, right? Ambulance. Let's uh, back up here. All right, my friend. So if you guys need a portable 4K OLED monitor, Edison has got what you need. And you say he's just a friend. The next product in today's stream is going to be the... Ooh, hold on. Uh-oh, hold on, chat. I deleted something at some point. Give me one second. I deleted something. Uh, it's going to be an electric scooter, but I accidentally deleted the link to the video, so I need to find that real quick. If I can find it. Okay, we're going to switch over to the next product, and then i got to get the video link for it. Uh, the Red Dragon GS520 RGB gaming speakers. Oh, it's still printing... Uh, what we talked about earlier, Briley. It's still printing Darth Vader. It's still printing Darth Vader. His leg. Oh, baby, you got that OLED. Nice. 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 This is the Red Dragon GS520 Anvil RGB desktop speakers. It comes in a sticker sealed box as well as a handy guide and some stickers. Both speakers are individually wrapped, but they are connected by a cable as well as you have a 3.5 millimeter audio cable and a USB cable that will connect to your device. Upon taking your speakers out, already you can see that it has four pads at the bottom of each speaker and that's to help prevent it from slipping and sliding on your desk as well as it has a black modern design with a textured finish. 
I personally appreciate that all of the controls are on one speaker and that includes the easy touch RGB light bar switch that allows you to go through six different colors. You have the power button and the volume controls. This is my setup before I added my speakers. I was so excited to add some more RGB lights to my setup. I did notice though that the cable was on the shorter side for me personally. I would have liked the speakers in a different position, but because of the length I had to adapt to a something else than I had expected, as well as the height of the speaker was taller than my monitors. Something to note is the speakers do use both a USB port and a speaker port of the device you are connecting to. Let's go ahead and test out these speakers. We will get started by checking out the sound quality over Discord so you can get a picture of what it might sound like when listening to people's microphones as well as the sound quality when listening to music. Test, 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 test. With a 2.0 channel and bass, it created that two-dimensional sound it experience, is. and it was super simple to get. She do be having fun with that. This is true. I'm crashing. I should have. I shouldn't have drank a soda. The one that where the light flows upwards, so you kind of feel like it's bouncing to the music. Overall, I'm looking forward to the music listening experience when I'm gaming and just listening to my favorite songs. Thanks for watching. All right, my friends. So definitely check out those GS520 RGB gaming speakers from Red Dragon. Um, and we're going to roll on. Those are $10, $9 off or so right now. Uh, we're going to roll on to, who is it? Is the River Mini out of stock? No, it's not. We're going to roll on to the EF EcoFlow River Mini. Uh, right now it's $179. Bucks. Pretty low price. It's a pretty low price, my friends. I need to open up my the door of my room because it is hot, hot. They want to taste of what I got. T -t 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 hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I am excited to showcase to you the River Mini Portable Power Station by EcoFlow. I did a review on the Big Brother River, not the Mini, and it was awesome. So let's go ahead and jump in and check out the Mini version. The EcoFlow River Mini is absolutely jam-packed with a ton of awesome features. This machine is an absolute little powerhouse, so let's go ahead and jump straight in and see everything that this machine has oh, to buddy. offer. So as you can see here on the front, it's pretty simplistic. A screen, some plugins. Taking a closer look at the front, you're going to notice here that you have three USB-As as well as the power switch to enable those USB ports. Also on the front on the right side, you're going to have your 12 volt AC adapter for charging or to charge the unit itself. Taking a look at the far side of the machine, you're going to notice here that you have two AC inputs. Now you might notice that you don't have a place for the third prong, but that's because this machine is grounded and you don't have to ground out the source that you're plugging in. Over here, you have your main charging port for your AC wall outlet, and then as well, you're going to have your solar charging outlet port right here, which can be used with a variety of different solar panels. To turn on the machine, you'll be presented with this gold button, and then once you turn that on, you're going to see here that your screen will light up and start showing you information. On the left side over here, it's going to have how many hours of charging you have based on the current amount of battery life. And so we can get a gauge of how much battery life this has. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to plug in my iPhone 11 Pro Max to the system to see how much it reflects with the current amount of hours and battery life available. 
So as you can see here, after I turn this machine on, you're gonna see that I have roughly about five to four hours of charging at 28% battery life. Also on the right side over here, you can actually see the current watts that is being drawn by the device that is powered through the EcoFlow River Mini. I know that's a lot to say, but just bear with me. I'm just trying to get all of my eggs in a row and kind of get you guys straightened out with how this machine works and how much charging you can get from it. But now onto the most exciting part. This does have AC outlets, so let's go ahead and plug in my Ninja printer over here on the right, and we're gonna go ahead Ninja and test printer. this out that to see how wonder, long we can right. run a- I don't think Ninja makes printers, chat. I'm pretty sure they only make kitchen appliances, nice a wall into this tiny little power station so what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to turn it on and see how much it reflects on the ecoflow river mini And so as you could see there, while I was running it, it brought me down to roughly about 11 minutes. And you can see that it's drawing almost 290 watts of power. So this machine, this tiny little power adapter, can basically power your blender, your TV, a small fridge. It can power so much, which is absolutely insane to me. So it's definitely no secret that the EcoFlow River Mini is an absolute powerhouse of a portable little machine. This machine would be great for something like camping, if you have an emergency outage, if you're on a long road trip. There's tons of uses for this machine and I think... So that is down from $350 to $180, my friends. 49% off. It's a good price. So definitely check that out. We're going to roll through so we can get to the end of today's stream. And uh, we're going to look at the off-arrow laser engraver now. And while this is playing, I'm going to go get a neck massager because my neck is starting to spasm and starting to get real stiff. And it looks like one of his legs is about done, 94%. So we're getting close on his left you know what, Vic? Yeah, I'm happy I listened to you. I'm happy I listened to you because it looks like overall this is going to be a successful 3D print. Yo, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today I am super excited to showcase to you the Off Arrow Laser 2 engraver. So, this is the LF version of the Off Arrow Laser 2, which basically stands for Long Focus Laser. This is a more high powered version of the Off Arrow Laser 2. It comes with the air assist. And what this is going to allow you to do is cut deeper into materials. Obviously, you can engrave it just as fine. But yes, so this is the LF. Building this machine was actually really easy. You have these aluminum frames that all you have to do is just line up bolt together you have to plug in the stepper motors they're already basically installed on the machine and you have to install the laser head itself so this machine does work with windows or mac and this basically is going to interface by the usb cable that plugs directly into your computer to use with laser gerbil or to use with light burn. Now you do also have this offline connector. This is a separate module that will allow you to control this without the need for a PC. But that's enough about the general specs of this. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at how this machine runs and the results. So as you guys can see here, this is the start of a brand new engraving, I guess you could say. Um, so what I did is I basically wanted to choose something that had a lot of detail just to kind of test this out. Now, I am not a professional in any sense, but as you guys can see right here, it's chugging along really well, high powered laser. You obviously don't want to look at this directly, but since this is over just a camera, you guys should be fine to just look at this laser. This thing is actually super awesome. And so here are the results. I chose this little weird pattern just because it had a ton of tiny small details. And in my opinion, this could be a lot better, but not due to the fault of the engraver, but to the settings and the user itself. But honestly, in my opinion, it did come out really, really well for one of my first successful engravings because I did have a lot of engravings before and you can see here even on this little top circle at the top there's that little tiny star and that came out really well 
All right, guys, so if you guys have been looking for a new laser engraver, definitely check out this one from Alfaro. This is the Laser 2 LF. They do have other models. Uh, yeah, this thing is super fun. I think you guys will really enjoy it. I'll see you on the next video. All right, so I said it before that when I first got it and I first showed it to you guys live on stream that I thought that that laser engraver could be sold for more money. So I'm sorry because it looks like they did increase the price, but today uh, you can pick it up for $150 off. So definitely check it out. The Echo Dot is the next product in today's stream. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with what that is, all it is is a way to talk to Alexa. Yo, how's it going today, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this Amazon Echo Dot. I am sure that you guys have heard of Alexa. You guys have heard of Amazon, definitely. But if you guys haven't seen the new dot, let's go ahead and jump in and just take a quick look at it. So unboxing this was as simple of an unboxing as you guys could possibly imagine. So you guys can see right there when you first open up the box, you are going to have the dot itself and then you're going to have this extra long charging cable. And then on the inside of the box, you're going to have some instructions, but I'll show you guys everything you need to do to get this set up. And that's basically it for everything that comes with the Echo Dot. And then you guys will notice whenever you guys get this powered on that right off of the rip, once it's turned on, you will see a little blue flashing light there on the bottom. Whenever that's flashing, that means that this is ready to pair with the Alexa app in order to get it linked to your Amazon account so you can use some of the awesome features that Alexa provides. And then once you see that it's flashing orange, just load up the Amazon Alexa app, search for Amazon Echo devices, and you guys will see that right off of the rip, it will discover this one because it is in pairing mode. Then it is going to search for Wi-Fi. And if you have saved Wi-Fi connections to your Amazon account, then you're good to go. If not, then it'll just ask you to select which Wi-Fi you have and put in its password. And then after that, that's all you really have to do. And if you guys aren't familiar with Alexa, here's some of the things you can do. Alexa. Where's my order? Everybody welcome Cat to stream. Two packages for Nate's order were delivered to the front door or porch. Containing <laughs> storage cubes and display port cable. Welcome Kitty. By the way, I welcome, see that your Kitty. Amazon cart contains Goofa store syringes. At any time, to hear what's in your cart and get the order total, just say, check out my cart. Alexa, stop. Alrighty. Alexa, how hot is it today in Oklahoma? Today, in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, expect a high of 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Alexa, play movie trivia. Uh-oh, I messed up. I messed up. Well, that's actually going to be it for the video. That's going to be it for that. Uh, because there's really not a lot you can do. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa is right. So that is the Echo Glow or the Echo Dot. Um, $10 off right now. So that's just a way to be able to speak to Alexa and control smart home devices such as TVs, lamps, uh, fridges now, a whole bunch of different things. You love it when Samuel L. Jackson tells me what packages arrived? Man. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I need to figure out how to do that. Both your echoes look like Grogu. That's cool. That's really cool. Bralio, welcome to today's stream. How are you doing today, my friend? Uh, the Crucial P2 one terabyte SSD is the next product in today's stream. Samuel L. <laughs> uh, right now, this this um this SSD is. 15% off, so you guys can save about $14 on it. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we are going to be taking a look at this NVMe M2 solid state drive by Crucial. So this is the P2, and we have the 1,000 gigabyte variant, which obviously whenever you actually get this formatted, you'll get about 950, 960 gigs, but that's not really important. And then looking at the back right here, it shows 2280. And the reason they say 2280 is because this has sequential read speeds of 2,400 megabytes a second and sequential write speeds of 19 so i was wrong about that 2280 is the size of the uh 2280 is the size of the ssd not the speed 
get a little user's manual right here please be aware that you will need an m.2 ssd slot on your motherboard of your computer the only reason i am saying that is because some people might not be aware that you do have to have that slot and not all motherboards especially pre-built computers are going to have that option and so taking a closer look at the SSD itself, you guys can see you have that Crucial branding and Crucial is made by Micron. And if you guys aren't familiar with Micron, they have been around a long time. This is a very good way to just add extra storage for what Ever it is that you need more storage for on your computer, whether it be photos, videos, games, pictures, it doesn't matter what it is. This is a very good way to add storage to your computer from a trusted company because Crucial, better yet, Micron has been around for a long time and they definitely know what they're doing. So if one of you stumbled across this video and found this helpful, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I think this is a great way to add storage to your computer by a renowned company. I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, so if you guys need a new SSD right now, that one's 14 bucks off. Uh, and like pass, not as cool, and they said. Um, Crucial is a very trusted company. The Basus LED desk lamp is the next product in today's stream. Uh, and we've seen this enough times that I'm just going to skip forward to him showcasing it. James here, here we go. Let's see that. Here we go. Oh, I wasn't expecting this footprint. Okay, now, here we, here we go. This is a little bit different. Cool, all right. As you guys can see, it actually moves out. This is actually quite cool. I was not expecting this. This this is not what I was expecting whatsoever. Right down here, guys, you have your on and off switch. Let's turn it on, right? It's powered on. Let's see if it's actually charged. It doesn't look charged, so we're gonna plug it in. Not a big deal, be right back. All right, we now have it plugged in. We're gonna guys show you guys this. We're gonna turn it on. There you guys go. If I hold it down, we can dim it. If I hold it back up, it'll go back up. Now, if I tap it again, it changes colors. We can also dim that just very steeply. Stop where you want it. Bring it back up. Stop. Change coloration again. This is more of a hue, orange hue. You know, dim it or bring it back up. Nice. Now, tap it again. Shuts it off. Turn it back on, right? On the bottom, guys, this little switch on the bottom is actually to change the brightness auto dimming by itself. It has an auto dimming part. That's cool to have that option. So let's say you have your light on. It's going to dim this light if it's already bright, bright. Very cool, very easy. I love it. Battery powered, guys. Look, unplugged. We're good to go. Take it with you. Carry it along. Whatever you need. The Bay Zeus uh, uh, desk lamp is a nice little option, guys. Again, nice little product. If you guys need desk lamp, Bay Zeus has got. All right, my friends. So just like James here, James here was saying, uh, it is a nice little desk lamp, and it is over ten dollars off right now. It's about twelve dollars and fifty cents off. So definitely check that out. But we're gonna look at the next product, which is the Ufi X8 Hybrid Robotic vacuum mop combo but our leg just got done one of our legs just got done so let's go ahead and take that off and we'll take a look at it so you guys you guys can see that right here the leg is done one of his legs is done and thank you vicky for telling me to just be patient because it looks like it did turn out okay looks like it did turn out okay so what we got to do now is just simply we're gonna lift this up a little bit and that should make it release and there we go so now we'll go to the overhead cam oh that is all messed up from the cat earlier from Kato. so let me get this straightened up so as you guys can see that is not darth vader those are tools so far what we have done on Darth Vader that we are going to be giving away, don't forget. We have his cape, or part of his cape. We have this portion, so his like thighs. We have his head. And we also have his like chest, his torso. So the leg is done, and you guys can see that weird stuff right there. And what that is, is that support that should just break off like this. Should just break off. And then we should have no issues. So I got to grab 
some tweezers. Gotta grab some tweezers because this needs to come off. And this is a very weird support. I've never seen a support be meshed in or modeled in with uh, the rest of the leg like this. So you guys can see all of this support just broke off. But this support right here is super weird. And the reason I say it's super weird is because if you look, it's like melted in with it. So that might be a problem. I mean, more, more than likely, we're going to be able to get it off just fine. But the issue that we're going to run into is it's going to make the quality go down a little bit, which isn't a big problem. Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. It popped right off. So let's, uh, let's get all of that out of here. We'll just break it off. And then what we'll do is we'll grab some tweezers, which are right here. We'll grab some tweezers and we'll just kind of pull out this little support stringing stuff that is on the inside of his foot because this is where it's going to interface with the rest of it. So we'll pull all that out. We'll kind of... The bottom, you don't really need to be that clean because you're not even really going to tell. Uh, but we need to get, if you guys can see right in there, there's kind of some junk in there, in that little hole. So we need to grab that stuff out of there. Otherwise, it's not going to sit flush whenever it's, whenever he stands on his base. And overall, I think that should be good. So now let's see how this is going to interface. This is his right leg. So let's see how this interfaces with the rest of it. Oh, like a glove, I think. Maybe it's the wrong leg. I doubt it. It's not the wrong leg. It is this one. Look at that, chat. That is perfect. So now we have to print... So now we have to print his... The other portion of his leg. We have to print the other portion of his leg. His arms, his saber... And then we're about done. Then we are about done. Now, here's the thing. There is a cape that goes on the back side of him. I don't think we're going to use that. I don't think we're going to print that. Unless you guys want me to, because apparently there's supposed to be a cape that goes over the, over the back side of him right here. You guys let me know. Should we print it or not print it? Because I can't even remember what Darth Vader looks if he has that cape there. So we have his arms, his other part of his leg, and his saber, and then this little chest piece right here. So what we need to do now is we need to grab our SD card. We need to load Cura, first of all. We need to get his other leg printing. So we printed his right leg, which is that one, the one that we just installed. And so now we need to go ahead and load his left leg in here. Is that for you? It's for you to get entered to win. It's for you to get entered to win for sure. Yeah, okay. We'll print the cape then. No worries. No worries. I just didn't... I can't even... I thought this was the cape enough, but apparently not. Um, so let's go ahead and get his right leg in here. Or his right foot. Left. Left. So here is his left foot. Let me make sure. Hold on. Yep, that is his, that is definitely his left. Um, and then I need to change the support because I had tree support on for some reason. I need to turn it on to normal. So we'll slice this, and it's probably going to take just as long, probably about four hours, if not quicker, because tree supports generally take longer because they're more of an intricate design. Four hours and eight minutes. Uh, the last one said four hours and 12 minutes. And it printed in three hours and 40 minutes. So this is going to take under four hours for sure. So we'll save that to the removable drive. And we'll rename the file on my removable drive. Otherwise, it's going to pop up as some weird name. So we need to do change the name to Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Right, no wait, left. 
left foot. That's what we'll change it to. And then after that, all we have to simply do is just take off the last little skirt that we did right here. Take off the last skirt that we had because we don't want that mess up there. Oops. And then we insert the SD card into the printer and choose the right leg now. Or his left leg. Sorry, I'm going to print the same one again. So you guys can see. That, so this is the screen. I, I really haven't shown you guys the screen very much, but this is the screen. So to choose your prints, this is all you have to do. So you go to print, and then so there's all of my files that I can print, and we just need to find his left foot, which is right there, and you hit print, and there you go. And away it will go. Now it's going to heat everything back up. It's going to heat the nozzle. It's going to heat all that stuff back up, and then it will start printing. Yeah, Dano, it, it's, uh, it's, he's looking awesome. He is looking awesome. Now, I didn't think you could achieve this type of quality from this type of 3D printer. I, I, I truthfully did not think you could. But apparently you can. I mean, because if you just look at this, it almost looks like one that, it looks like a model that you'd buy from a store that, I mean, if not better. Just look at that. That looks incredible. Now, there are some hiccups, but I think overall... Like just those little bumps right there, that's not that big of a deal. And you could obviously sand that down, but if you're just gonna have this on display because it is made to be displayed, that is just incredible. 3D printed this. Like it's just, I think this is what we're gonna do going forward. Let, let, let me let me know, chat. Do you guys like this whole printing stuff on, which we this is the first time we've done it, but do you guys like the idea of 3D printing stuff on stream? building it on stream and then potentially being able to win it with these giveaways. Cause if so, if you guys like this, we can continue doing this. So after this giveaway, if you guys want to do the voting system again, I'll, I'll come up with a new list of stuff that we can 3d print. You guys can vote on it. We'll print it, assemble it, talk about it as we're going through it and then give it away. Type an F in the chat. If you guys like that. And I also have a question, and this isn't like a jealousy thing or anything like that. I, I'm just curious because I know a lot of you guys also, you guys don't only watch Dragon Ball. You guys are also in other streams too. Um, have you guys seen anybody else talk about 3D printers? And I'm just asking because I'm not like trying to be like, a, I'm the only one, ha, ha, ha. But I'm just genuinely curious. Do you guys see other people talk about them? You haven't? Okay. Okay, so you've seen a couple of people do them? Nope, nope. I need to get more 3D printers, I think. I really do. Like I said, the Ufi X8 Hybrid is next, and we just started the left leg. Uh, so I really think that, because this was the longest portion, that took the longest, that was over a day, where it was actually like 23 hours. Uh, everything else is going to be, I imagine we're going to be done by Friday's stream. Or wait, today's Thursday. So I imagine by Saturday's stream or during Saturday's stream, because I am printing this offline as well, not just when I'm on. I think that it will be done by Saturday, but the, the giveaway is still going to be on Wednesday next week. That, that will give us time to uh, build it. So if it's done on Saturday, we'll build it on Saturday's stream. And then... Uh, we'll have some photos of it, and I'll showcase it to you guys throughout Monday and Tuesday, saying you can win this. And then on Wednesday, we'll do the live giveaway. Now, you do have to be in the U.S. to enter, so I am sorry to all of my non-U.S. participants. I really wish it's just shipping on stuff like shipping in general. It is absolutely crazy. Now, here's the thing. Um, maybe one day I'll speak to Justin, and we'll see if we can do a uh, giveaway. Uh, but yeah. So anyways, this, uh, Yuffie X8 hybrid, like I said, and I've been trying to for a while is going to be the next product. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Yuffie X8 hybrid vacuum mop from Anchor. 
This is an absolute beast of a robotic mop vacuum combo. So let's go ahead and jump in and see everything that it does. Inside of the box, there are quite a few things. So let's go ahead and make sure that you know everything in it. You're going to get an instruction manual, the mop attachment, as well as some replacement pads. And then you are going to get another filter that you need to make sure you get installed. So once that's installed, you should be good to go. You're also going to get some zip ties to clean up the floor. You're going to get the charging base itself. And then you are going to get the charging cable that is used with the charging base. And then of course you are going to get the vacuum itself right there. And taking a closer look at the vacuum itself, you guys can see right here, it's got a very simple, but also very modern design on the top right here. You have that Eufy logo. You have that really nice copper branding all the way around it. On the front up here at the top of the system, you have all of your controls. You have the carbon fiber look. Flipping it over to the back side of this, you guys can see everything right here is really well made. So your bristle attachment right here actually has this really nice rubber attachment around the bristles. And these are basically going to help with rigidity and just having these bristles last a longer time. Then you can see in the suction portion right here, you have your normal carpet bristles, but you also have the purple right there, which is for the mopping feature. And speaking of the mopping feature, this is where the mop attachment goes. So getting that installed is very simple, which we will show you guys how to do just here in a little bit. So you guys can also see that on the bottom of the vacuum that you have these two tires with these lifting mechanisms. And that's basically going to help this robot vac go between carpet and hardwood without any issues right there. So everything is very well made on that. But let's go ahead and show you guys how to get this thing up and running so we can get your home clean in no time. So the first thing you want to do to get the setup is download the Eufy Home app. Once that's launched, go ahead and type in add device, then you're going to select robot vacuums. Continuing on, you're obviously going to select X8 hybrid. And now you'll see that it will pop up because we did turn on the vacuum. It automatically enables Bluetooth if it's not already paired. And then you are going to type in your Wi-Fi network name and password. And then once you have that paired to Wi-Fi, you guys will see right here that it gives you Dario and Maninia. Dario and Maninia, they did 3D printing. Now, did he have it like live streaming printing or did he just like talk about the printer and then show what it printed? A little bit of instruction on how to place the charging base, just telling you a notice to basically pick up before this thing goes out in vacuums. And then it also gives you some information on how this thing will create a map. Now you are inside of the app and you guys can see right here, we have a ton of features. Up there at the top, you have battery life, total cleaning time, the cleaning type, you have suction strength, which is pure power, turbo max, and boost IQ. The boost IQ works really well by basically reading what type of surface it's on and adjusting the suction strength accordingly. And then the next thing that you're going to have is up here in the top right is you have the settings wheel and you have a ton of stuff in here, such as manage map, tap and go, cleaning history, you have voice settings, and then down here at the bottom, you will see accessory services. And this is basically... I think that means, I think that only means one thing, chat. I think it means we kind of found my shtick on the stream. Now, while I know you guys like the Pokemon and stuff, I think I found something that's kind of my unique thing. Um, it's my unique thing. I think that's what we can do going forward. Uh, I think it's, I think it's, we're going to be 3D printing stuff, talking about 3D printers, talking about filament, talking about... Um, the way you have to print stuff, just all of the general 3D printing stuff, and then um, doing model giveaways such as Darth Vader that we're going to be doing next. And I am so excited for this. Once this is done, this is, I think, going to be my favorite print so far just because of how clean it looks so far. Found this little desk that I had set up. I purposely set it like this to see if it would be able to navigate itself into this little cranny right here and then also navigate itself out and did a really good job in doing that and then regardless if you told it to go back to its home or it does it itself after the battery is dead this thing goes right back the eufy x8 does a phenomenal job vacuuming your carpets and mopping your floor so if you guys have been looking for a very easy to use robot vacuum i highly recommend this one from eufy and i will see you guys on the next video all right my friends so that is the eufy x8 hybrid does a phenomenal job of vacuuming it leaves those beautiful carpet lines that just look so nice and lets people know hey i didn't do it but the the carpets are vacuumed uh the dement dim dimunt dimunt diamond 
LED floor lamp is the next product in today's stream. I don't know how you say it. Um, but the UV X8 is 27% off. So down from $550, chat. $550 while I hold pliers to $399. So you guys can save $150 on that. Oh, what a great deal. So here's everything that came with my new LED floor lamp. I'm super excited. I'm going to follow the instructions to set everything up. As you can see, everything here looks super nice. Um, the the base it was really heavy. Or not really heavy, but enough so that I know that the, the lamp is going to be stable. And then, of course, it comes with a power cord and a remote with two batteries already included. So I agree with you, Albert. The vacuum mart is definitely saturated. Uh, but I do not think that that vacuum is worth $99. Uh... It is definitely not worth $99. I think it's worth every penny. And I can say that as a product reviewer because I have reviewed multiple uh, robotic vacuums. And none of them come close to the quality standard that Anchor has. None of them clo come close to the, the, the cleaning quality that that vacuum does. Um, that one also is so good at navigating obstacles. I mean, it hugs corners. I mean, it sits on the corners of walls. Uh, so it has the absolute best, um, has the absolute best cleaning area. Uh, so I do agree to some extent that yes, the vacuum bot market is definitely saturated. There's a ton of companies out there making them and honestly, not, not all of them are great, but anchor is just one of them. And I'm sure my chat can definitely vouch for anchor. Cause I know a lot of my chat has a ton of anchor products and, uh, they just don't, they don't miss. They do not miss. Let's get this show on the road. So this light ended up being super easy to set up and super easy to use. So it comes with the remote and I'm gonna kind of show you how the remote works with it, um, the lamp itself. So obviously this one turns on the power and then it starts working. The 1H is for a one hour timer. When you press it, it's going to like flash, but that's how you know that the one hour timer has started. Go ahead and hit that so now it's on a one hour timer it also has settings that you can use to change the brightness so of course this will or this is um rather the the temperature this raises the temperature which changes the color of the light and if i lower the temperature it gets more orange more blue as you go up though and then this one is the actual for the brightness on the left and the right side um, this takes the brightness up as high as it'll go this takes it you know as low as it'll go uh, but it also comes with some cool presets that it has, as you can see, there's a coffee, book, a computer, a baby bottle, and a moon. And as you can see, um, they're just different preset settings. So uh, this is the coffee. This is the book. This is for the computer. This is for the baby. And then this is for nighttime. The lamp itself also comes with physical buttons that do the same things pretty much, but on the thing you only have increase, decrease, changing the mode, which on the remote is changing the brightness setting um, for the color. Uh, you know, like I said, the hotter the color. You need to win? I don't know. Do you need to win it, Blake, or do you want to win it? Well, we know you want to win it, but I don't know if you need to win it. Jackson, Miss Jackson. Oh, you nasty. No need here, my friend. That is all want. Because the only thing we really need in life is water and food. Is water and food. But Nikita, as always, did a, did a phenomenal job showcasing his product with that dimmant LED floor lamp. So if you guys need a new one right now, that is roughly $15 off. 15 biggins, my friends. You could buy like three Pokemon packs with that. Three Pokemon packs, yep. It's true. Uh, the Dash Rapid Egg Cooker. Okay. They make everything, don't they? So I have a question because I've seen these. I have a question, chat. So these... Uh... Whenever they say egg cooker, does that mean it's going to make a boiled egg? Is that what this works? Not all we need in life. That's true. Blake, actually, that's true. I stand corrected. That is very true. So if 
it, does an egg cooker boil eggs? Is that how that works? Okay. Now, when they say, like, fast, how fast is fast compared to the 12 minutes it takes to boil an egg? Weird, like, multiple, like, high-capacity egg um, hard boiler is... Ah, just absolutely amazing i geek out about it because it's just so cool um and i can just do so many at once i'm going to demonstrate what a couple of eggs i, I guess is about 12 minutes actually but no cracking or breaking so th there, there are pluses to it there's really no there's really no cons to just normal water boiling an egg there's no cons to it i mean yeah you have to fill up water but there's no cons it's just this just makes it easy, basically. This, so it's not necessarily meant to be amazing and cook hard boil an egg in three minutes, but this just kind of makes it more simple. Makes it more simple and also, yeah, okay, I get, I get it. Maybe I'll look into this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't have too many extra here, but I'm going to do five or oh, so. Uh I don't know about you guys, but I go on egg kicks. So like I do fried eggs. Or just like over medium eggs all the time. I'll go on boiled egg kicks where I'll boil like 14 at a time. And then just eat them throughout the next few days. I love eggs. They're so good. You, um, basically how many eggs and like what kind of quality it will get them. If you do that as you can kind of see. Um, it tells Every once in a while I'll cook an omelet with some peppers and some onions. But very rare. Very very rare. Actually, I haven't done an omelet in a long, long time. Thinking about it now. Tells you just how much water you need. And if that wasn't enough for you, um, it comes with this guide too that also kind of has charts that tell you all the information that you need to know about how much water and how much time that you're going to need. So I'm going to be doing this one. Um, I'm going to be doing hard boiled eggs. Right here it says six will take about 18 minutes. So I'm going to do five. So it should be about the same. Basically, if you don't know how to use this thing, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of take this top off real quick. This little top section, the whole top section off, actually. And I'm going to take this little part off, too. Um, you just simply take your egg and you want to get it on, like, the longer side of it. And basically what this little cup is, you take off this little bottom part and has this little like sharp thing. All you have to do is take your egg and be, be careful about how you do it. And you want to put the tip of that onto this little spike and you just kind of press down. So question in chat. I have a poll in the chat. I wish they had a, a way I could actually do a poll and see the votes. That'd be cool. Um, poll in chat for you guys. What is the number one small kitchen appliance or just kitchen appliance in general that you have that has made stuff so much easier and this it, it might not be necessary but now that you have one and you use it you could never go back to whatever it was before name that name that thing for me i think mine is a rice cooker yes okay tink tink we are on the same page a, a rice cooker what Oh, okay. My wife is wanting me to make a joke. Uh, she's wanting me to make a joke right now. She wants me to tell... This, this is weird, chat. She's wanting me to tell you that my favorite thing that I could not live without being in the kitchen is my wife. This is true. This is true. She, she wanted me to say her. I'm not making that joke, all right? I'm not making the typical dad like, oh, get in the kitchen joke. Uh, my wife wanted me to tell you guys that. <laughs> that weirdo. This is true, though, because she does her mashed potatoes or mm. you guys have never even seen her. You guys have never even seen her. One of these days you guys have to come. I'm going to tell her to I want to tell her to get. I think she uh, she doesn't want to. She thinks she she says, in quote, I look homeless because whenever she gets home from work, she gets out of all of her teacher clothes and she. uh just gets in her like lounge clothes and so she doesn't want to show you guys her looking homeless party at nate's house come on let's go come on over everybody i'll cook you uh 
either really good or really bad cheeseburgers. I'm always nervous about doing it, even though I do this all the time. I Chat, the people want to see you. So one of these days, do whatever you have to do to feel comfortable and get on the camera. You hear me? The chat said it. Maybe she'll, maybe she'll show you guys her baby bump. Because three weeks ago, out of three weeks ago, she had a little tiny, like a little, just like a little, like a little pouch, like a little boop boop. And now her belly's like round. And I'm like, whoa, she's right there. I can see her right now. Never don't get nervous because I'm always scared she has a because of how clumsy I am that I'm going to break the egg. Um, <laughs> it's just it's a it's a small anxiety that I just can never break myself of. But as you can see, I'm doing it just fine and I'm not worrying about anything. So now I've got the three at the bottom. I can go ahead and place this little section on here and then I can put this part on top and then we're going to do two on the top. So yes, Justin did say that, well, Justin and I, we were going to start live having her on some live streams, which we might still do, but we kind of put it on the back burner for now, especially since I started doing this full time. I wanted to kind of get in the swing of doing this full time and not trying to add stress to her, especially while she's pregnant, which it wouldn't be stressful for her. She wouldn't be the one that's actually, you know, controlling and doing all the push buttons and stuff, as she would say. Uh, she actually, in quote, said, <laughs> I don't know how to do all the all the pushing the buttons and all of that. So um, she is in her third trimester now. So this is when everything is going. Do not. Oh, two more weeks and she'll be in her third trimester. Somebody asked earlier the due date. It's November 21st. November 21st. I thought I could have swore she's been in her third trimester for like. I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. I thought she's been in her trimester for like a, a month, but nope. Two more weeks. She'll be in her third trimester. Uh, I'll talk to Justin and I'll figure out, maybe we'll just do like, uh, every once in a while, every couple of weeks, if she's feeling up for it, like a weekend stream or something, cause she is working now. So can't do it during the uh, week, but maybe like a Saturday stream. Uh, I'll get her on stream or something. Top section. Like I said, so go ahead and take two more eggs. Also, babe, we need a rice cooker. Or, no, an egg cooker. That's this fun. is amazing. And here is the last Ed S. The says he egg. hopes you're doing well. I cracked that one a she little bit. She said, thank you, Ed. Be okay. You nerd. I sure That's what she said, in quote. I'm sorry. But everything is in there. It's good to go. I can go ahead and turn this on. And then we wait. Hey, another mama to three kids, I think. Mama Siren, what is it? Another mama says hi to you. Her name is, well, her name's not Siren, but Rising Siren says hi. So if you can hear it, um, this is the sound it makes when it's done. Um, and so it's like a, a baby. little jingle. It's kind of nice. I'm going to go ahead and flip it off. Um, and then the jingle ends. Um, I wonder if that egg at the top, it was cracked. Okay, so it, it, it was cracked, and you can kind of see it cracked all the way through, but it is holding, and it's, I can tell it's done. All right, chat, so I'm not convinced anymore. I'm not convinced. Look at all of the stuff you have to do. Look at all of the stuff that you have to do in order to uh, get this working. Hey, babe, if you would like to, log on to the Amazon and say hi. It'll be under my name. Nathaniel Wilson, not my account that when you guys see me typing uh, like this, it'll say Nathaniel Wilson, but that'll be my wife if she says hi. She has to go to work. I'm a stay at home dad, my friends. I'm a stay at home dad. But like I was saying, I don't know if I'm convinced. I'm not saying this doesn't work well. I just don't know too much if I'm convinced that this makes it easier. Because uh, you have to put water in the bottom. What a first world problem. Ugh. Of course I have to do stuff to eat to eat food. Ugh. That's such a first world problem. Uh, but this is this is a bit weird. So this like steams your eggs. This steams your eggs as opposed to boiling it. But if you guys if you guys do like egg cookers, definitely check that out. The Casa Power Strip is the next product in today's stream. A lot less water usage. This is true. Good. 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 
जय श्री माम यप 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 James here, and today we're taking a quick look at the new product, guys. This is from Kaz. This is their TP Link 3 outlet surge bar or power bar, guys. This has three normal house plugs plus two USB plugs. The three house plugs can be turned on by their app or turned off or have timers set with these, which is really cool. And you can actually turn those on at any place in the world. But let's pop it open and give you guys a quick little look. Now, a couple cool things is you don't need no hub to use this. It can work with Alexa and Google Home. You just need to download and install their app to actually make it work. Now, let's see if there's anything in here. There's a little user manual, guys, if you need it. it. Tells you how to add the app, connect it, and how to download it and everything. We already downloaded it, so we don't really need that. Then we have... Wait, you're going to get to meet James? What? I haven't even met James. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have about 30 minutes or so left of stream, and then... Uh, that's going to be it. We do have one more gift card giveaway, so if you're not here, then I'm sorry, but yeah, I, sh I might be here. The plug. The plug actually looks really nice so far. I'm going to rip it open. You guys have looked at this, right? So, you have the plug. Each one has a power button. Simple power buttons right there, guys. You have the three standard plugs. Plus, you have your plug your protect plus SYS, then you have your two USBs. These are five volt, 2.4 amps, guys. You also have little hanger holes if you guys need to hang them, plus rubber feet so it won't scratch the surface. Now, the real cool thing is, is the cable, guys. This is what I love. I love the design. It makes it look it so you can actually plug it in and you actually have a lot more space near it. Three prong, don't break the ground, guys. You will need that ground. Never break those grounds. Now we're gonna plug this in, of course. Power okay, that's freaking sweet. And I, okay, so now I know where you live. Now I know where you live. Ha ha ha! No, I know what state you live in now. You know what's you know what's funny about that? Uh, you don't. I'm not gonna say because I don't want to blurt your your information out. But the state that you and James are from, you don't hear a lot about that state. You really don't. You don't hear a lot of people that are hear about a lot of people that are from it or meet a lot of people from it. And you just, it's a state you don't hear much about. Oh, this is true. I, I do. I have exactly where you live then. Power it up and then pair it to the app. And then while we're doing that, guys, we're going to actually grab something and connect it to it. So we can show you guys it shutting the power off. But let's plug that in right here. We, as you guys can see, all lit up. We have... SYS and red, protect, and everything. Then we can simply shut these off. All those are off. Or we can turn them on, and they're back on. Grab our phone. This is where we're going to have to grab our phone, right? If the phone will come on. There we go. We're on. We'll grab devices. Connect device. Smart plugs. Then we have to find the smart plug right here. This is a power strip, of course, and here we are. It is telling us, is it flashing? We're going to go this, enable location, so we'll just allow that right now. He says the back of it looks purple. Looking forward to seeing that. Maybe you guys can knock out a, like a co-product uh, a co-product review or something. Really just like real quick. If, oh my gosh, Mama Siren, if he doesn't do that, that is fantastic. That is just the bee's knees. What a beautiful day. He has to do that. That has to happen. All right, so when James streams tomorrow morning, you have to, everyone that's here, if you guys are on in the morning, you have to tell James, you have to. It has to be done. You have to tell him that he has to say James here whenever he gets out of his car. 
and Mama Siren, if you do not film him whenever he's getting out of his car, if you do not have your phone, whatever it is recording, when he gets out of his car and submit that video to us, the door. You have to leave forever. This has to happen. This is... This is destiny, is what this is. You told him that you said he could review the divots in the rocks in my backyard. I'm not kidding you. I think I did make a joke about that one time. James can review anything and talk about it descriptively for a long time. But that has to happen. If that doesn't, I'm going to be real upset with just life in general that needs to happen oh man but anyways if you guys need a new power strip so that power strip allows you to plug stuff into it like normal like a normal power strip but each one of those plugs is going to be a smart plug that you can control either over google home or alexa um that's really it that's really it uh so that is 24.99 right now and that's, oh my gosh, hold on. So that comes with three plugins. And the and the next product that we're going to look at is kind of the same thing. I can't change. I can't change the, uh, the product anymore. So one second, chat. One second. I gotta, I gotta make a, a quick phone call to Justin, or at least a text message, because I'm unable to select the. I can't select the product anymore. So stand by, my friends. I'm just gonna call him to get his attention and then hang up. F in chat, no. Uh, so it's saying, I'll, I'll show you guys what it's saying, actually. It's being weird. It's being very weird. What? It is saying that... I don't want to, because this is a deal stream, and I don't want to just deselect that it is a deal stream. It's saying non-deal products in Carousel, which it didn't earlier. Go back and remove ineligible products, which I don't know what it is, and continue without deals placement. So he's checking now. He's checking. I I sent him a text message and I also called him uh, just to get his attention. I didn't actually talk to him, obviously. Did I restart the stream? No, I didn't. I have I've Justin. I have not restarted the stream. I'm just waiting for him to give me the word on what we do next, chat, because live troubleshooting, live troubleshooting. Deal flag is just off. Okay, so just continue. That's fine. All right, so we're going to go ahead and continue on today's stream, and he's going to teach me how to fix that next. The Casa Smart Plug HS10. Um is the next product. It's basically the same thing, but they're individual power banks, I guess you could say. Or not power banks, they're individual power uh, plugins. And these also give the smart home functionality. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the TP Link Casa Smart Wi Fi <coughs> Plug Mini. This is a combo that comes with two of them. So let's just go ahead and jump in and take a look at everything that comes with it. So as you guys can see right here, this is everything. Now, this is one of the smart plugs. The other one I have plugged in right over there just because I have to actually show you what it can do when it's plugged in. And then you're going to get this quick little quick start guide that is just going to show you how to get this set up. So we'll go ahead and take a closer look at the plug. You guys can see right here, it's a very simple design. There's not a lot to it because all this really is is a power relay that also has a built-in Wi-Fi chip. The power button is right there on the right. This is a three-prong adapter, so just be aware of that. This is very easy to get set up. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and get the app open. I'll show you guys that in here in just a couple seconds. But yeah, 
very simple to get set up. So as you guys can see that right here, I have my phone. So we've already downloaded the app and signed up. You will have to sign up and connect this app to your home Wi-Fi. But once you're connected in here, it's very simple to use. All you have to do is click add device, and then you are going to find what the device you're going to be adding, which is a smart plug. And then for us, we are going to choose the smart plug mini. We already did that, so we won't do it, but it's very easy to use. So now that you have it set up, all you have to do is you can click on the actual smart plug itself. You're going to have a power button down here at the bottom. You're going to have the option to add scheduling so you can turn it on and off at certain times throughout the day. You can set timers for this to either turn off or turn on. Going down here at the bottom even further, you guys can see you have this little option right here that is going to give you the ability to set different modes. And then right down here at the bottom right, if you guys can see that, you are going to have runtime data right here, which is really awesome. All you have to do to get this set up ultimately is plug it in, download the app, and then add the smart plug. Then you also are going to have Alexa integration, and that's going to basically allow you to control this with your voice. And then the same thing can be said for Google Home, as you guys can see right there. This is seriously so easy to get set up. There's not much to it at all. This is going to add smart home functionality to products or stuff in your home that doesn't have smart home functionality otherwise, such as lamps, blenders, coffee makers, whatever it is. So if you guys have been looking for a new smart plug set, definitely check these out from TP-Link, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, my friends. So definitely buy those right now right now buy them uh all jokes aside they're really nice you need a portable power station no cap no cap i get it diva i get it i feel like everyone does uh not necessarily just like a little power bank not that just necessarily one of those but uh kind of just a power unit a power i guess you'd call it a bank yeah uh, the next product is the Simpa table lamp. I just did this video two days ago, maybe? Two days ago, I think. James here. Today we're taking a quick Wait, look at I the didn't lamp, do this guys. One. This is from Simpa. This is their LED desk lamp, guys. This is on the back. Yeah, skip forward. So we can turn it towards go. you, turn it in any direction, bend it however you want. Maybe you guys want it to shape like that or however you would like the light to set. But what does it look like and how bright really is it? Well, let's find out. Let's grab a plug. Let's plug this in. Um, let me untie this little knot here of the twisty tie that I just tightened a little too much. And we're going to plug this in. And of course, uh, I have to untie a knot. So let's do this. Let's plug this in. Here we are. We are plugged in. Now the power button is lit up blue. Hopefully you guys can see that. If I hit that, we're now on. And you guys can see the colorations down here. So if I slide all the way across, it gets really bright. So let's slide this back down and you guys can see this. The brightness levels go down. If we want to change color hue, there is a different hue. Uh, we'll do it again. Another hue, another hue, and another hue, and bright. Guys, very simple, very easy. I love how easy that is. Guys, this is a nice little elegant desk lamp. Uh, if you guys need a desk lamp, table lamp, maybe you need one on your side, uh, your side little uh, desk or your side table for your bed, or maybe just uh, you know next to your couch. Uh, Simpa's got you covered, guys, with this little desk lamp. This is actually really cool. I love that it's really flexible. I like the look, nice shiny black. All the LEDs in there, guys, means it'll last a long time. Plus that touch sensitive lighting. I mean, look at me, I'm shining like a star. Um, you know, very easy, very simple, and quick little, uh... All right, chat. So I have a uh, I have a table lamp from Simpa, and it works really well. It's very nice. And I don't know how you guys have not complained about my, my 3D printing camera angle yet, because that looks rough. That looks rough. But definitely check out that Simpa table lamp. Um, they're really nice. The next product in today's stream is the iMazing Portable Car Jump Starter. Uh, it's 35% off right now from $110 down to $71.99. $71.99. So we will uh, take a look at that. But now here's the thing about this um, jump starter. We do have a giveaway going on for this that's going to end, I think, next week. 
not this Sunday, but next Sunday it'll be drawn live. I'm going to share a link in the chat so you guys can get entered to win that. James here. And today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Amazing. This is their IM27 uh, jump starter, guys. This is for cars, of course. This is, like, like I, I said, you guys can get entered to win this power station that James here is showcasing. It's not going to be his. It's not going to be the one he reviewed. You'll get a brand new one. Uh, but there you go. So a link is in the chat so you guys can get entered to win this amazing 2,000 amp portable car jump starter. Liter gas up to 7.5 liter diesel, which is very cool. It also has LED lighting. It has multiple USB ports so you can charge multiple devices or charge this and other things. So this is the box for it, right? You have, like I said, one USB-C type 3A amp uh, plug. You have the USBs. Then you have an output DC, guys, of course. Then you have temperature controls. Uh, this is your little package. This thing's actually quite cool. I love this hard case that they give you for this. That is nice. Now, I always love a good case to keep the product in so you can actually keep it nice and organized. Now, the first thing we are greeted with is the little user manual if you guys need that. Then on top, we have the plug for the jumper cables, guys. And this should actually have, I believe... A little digital readout we'll see that in a second but you have your positive and negative clamps you then have your usb to usb c cable and you have your cigarette lighter adapter guys so you can actually charge this with a cigarette lighter i did not even realize you could use this to charge cigarette lighter stuff so that's very cool then we have the device on the other side i'm going to set the case down we don't need the case no more right just a simple case but here is our Jump starter right here. This is actually very nice. I like this. Nice rubberized feel. Not too slippery. Has some grip. Then you have your digital screen right here, right? Let's hit the power button. It'll say 75% charged. I like that. It also indicates um, output of 75%. Now, this is where we're going to start showing some stuff. You have your DC out. The DC out, which is the cigarette lighter plug, which I set down. That means you can plug this into that DC out plug, right? And you can actually use this to like power a camera or charge a camera or charge something with the cigarette lighter. That's cool to have that. Then you have your USB-C right there. This is in and out. Then you have your USB 3 and your USB 2. Now those will be indications of how you charge. And then you have your lighting right here. And you also have this rubberized clip that slides open right there and this is where you'll actually plug this device in and just make sure you go in the right direction and once you do you guys you'll see it let light up it is now blue of course and then if i turn this on we can unplug this again just like that comes in and out guys not that hard to actually use now it is shaped so you'll see the circle and the square and the circle and the square again we'll just set this right here and you guys will start seeing the lighting go on goes to green to blue then you indicate it it is on connect this to your battery and jump your car that quick that easy now led lighting hit the button once and then we go that hit the button again and we're off turn it back on we'll hit the button once more we have the sos then you have your flash then back to off and on so that simple, that easy, guys. Nice little jump pack if you need this. Now, like I said, to jump start it, guys, you will need to plug it in. Make sure this power on, and then it's connected to your battery properly. Then go in, wait three seconds, and then try jumping your car or your truck, depending on what vehicle you're using. Again, guys, nice little product. Now, it will take probably four and a half hours to charge this at 100%, and it will stand by for 12 months with that charge before it starts dissipating. So just remember that. Now, this is the IM27 from iMazing, guys. This is a nice little jump pack. If you need one, take a look. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great one. All right, my friends. So like I said, you can get entered to win that. Think about it. You could win it. So if you guys want it, but you don't want to buy it yet, uh, you guys want to get entered, uh, you guys can definitely get entered to win that because uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway on that next week next week again the link is in the chat right now it's the last message that was sent so check that out to get entered the next product is uh by amazing as well it's another portable car jump starter 
but this one's a 4,000 amp jump starter. So this can be better for bigger trucks and just bigger vehicles in general. Uh, so I am going to show you guys the product page on this. That's what we're going to do. Uh, that's what we're going to do. So this is almost exactly like the last product that we just looked at in the carousel. Almost exactly like it. This one's different though. So this one has up to all gas vehicles or a 10 liter diesel engine. And what that what I mean by that is this has the power to jumpstart large engines with 4,000 amp peak. So this also is a 26,000 milliamp. It's not at the same time. It uses the battery life from this, but 26,800 milliamp. Um, and what I mean by that is you can charge your devices from this as well. So most of your phone batteries, I'm going to go ahead and say it's safe to say that the majority of your phone batteries right out there that you guys have is probably on average, I'd say like 3,000 to 4,000 milliamps. That means you can charge your phone six, seven, eight times on this, which is crazy that you're able to do that. So this one, as you guys can see, like I said, the last one was 2,500. This one's 4,000. So if you guys have a big old truck, big old truck, you can do that. It has an LED light. Uh, you guys can see from James' videos that it's basically the same thing. Uh, kind of taking a look at the pictures, just a very simple design, super bright LED, uh, full charge, 24 months standby. So what they mean by that is when you charge this up, you can throw it in your car. It will hold that 100% charge for up to two years. So you set it and forget it. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, kids. $120 for this down already 130 bucks. So 52% off already. But now you can also, if you click right here, you guys see my screen, you guys can save $30 on this. 30 big ones on this as well. So you guys can get this for under a hundred bucks. Um, they say it's good for motorcycles, ATVs, lawnmowers, snowmobiles, and etc. up to 30 times on a full charge. Um, it has a UL 2743 standard certification and the indicator clamp of eight advanced safety protection technologies. Uh, fast charging with three a USB 3.0 ports, uh, type C output, LED flashlight. You're going to get everything you need to get set up and running. Uh, looking at the reviews here, 84%. That's an overwhelmingly amount of five star reviews on Amazon. Uh, so we're not really going to talk about it too much more. That's really it because you guys basically saw it's the same thing as it's the same thing as what James had. Uh, so uh, check that out. So definitely check that out. Rolling on, my friends. The next product is the electric tea kettle. This is 24% off. So from $50 down to 38 bucks, my friends, 38 bucks. Uh, this is by Paris Roan. Now I have one of their... Uh, in wall ac units or in window ac units and i'll tell you they they this is the only product i've tested from them but it's nice today we're just taking a quick look at any product guys this is from paris Rhone. this is their electric tea kettle of course guys just a simple little water boiler for uh teas hot chocolates whatever you really need right this does have six temperature settings and it is a 1.7 liter holding capability now this is a cordless style hot water so it has a base to sit on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it open we're gonna give you guys a first look at this first i should have probably folded it open beforehand but you know sometimes unboxings are cool sometimes they're not we're just gonna give you guys all the little information that we have so you have the instruction book how to use it how to work it guys just remember they do give you that little paper then you have the device itself and you have, actually, it's a charging base. I like that. Now, this is kind of cool to have a charging base, guys. So you can see that it sits up on there. It does have the bottom right there with rubber feet. And then your standard wall plug, guys. Very simple, very easy. I, I, I like that option. Then we have the tea kettle itself. Pop this up, grab it, open it up. nice nice looking guys i love the chrome finish or the 
brushed nickel or brushed chrome finish, guys. Very cool, very simple. Then on the back, you have your measuring section right there, and it does show you guys anywhere from 0.5 minimum up to 1.7 liters max. Then you have the top press. Uh, that's kind of cool. I like that. So you do have a little press button. You guys press it, and it pops open. You guys can see the inside in there, nice and simple. And it does have a filter. So this neck right here, guys, this uh, the front tip where you pour out has a filter right there. Now I'm going to see if I can actually pop that filter out to show it to you. And you can. So you can pop the filter out, guys. Very simple. There's a little button there. It pushes, pops out, so you can clean out the filter. I love that option. And putting it back in, very simple, very easy. It just connects right back up, and you're good to go. That's cool. I like that. Now, if you guys give me one second, I just dropped a piece. Sorry about that. I dropped the base, had to pick it up, guys. So, the base, guys, it's very simple, very easy. If you guys look at the bottom, there is your heating coil part. Now, that will sit right on this base, just like this, guys. Once it's on, it's on, and that makes the connection to actually heat it up. I like that. Now, it does show you caution hot, so be careful with that. Now, guys, like I said, it does have six temperature settings right here, guys. And now I'm going to actually drop some lighting down so you guys can see this a little better, right? Let's see if I can power that off for you. Let's see if you guys can see this a little better. There is your temperature settings. You have 160 Fahrenheit. You have 175, 185, 190, 200, or boil. Now the boil, guys, just remember that's for like your top ramens and your soup, stuff like that. But very simple, very easy. You also have keep warm, start, stop, and set. The setting, you'll press it to the temperature you want, and then you press the start button, and you're good to go. Again, guys, this is the Paris Rhone 6 temperature setting electric tea kettle. Thanks. For All right, my friends. So if you guys are the drinkers of the tea, uh, definitely check that out from Paris Rhone. Um, I, was I wasn't surprised, but I was happy with my Paris Rhone um ac unit that i used very high quality uh so definitely check that out 37.99 down to 49.99 no 49.99 down to 37.99 that's the savings um so check that out the next product is also a jame here video and wow oh never mind i said 224 this one you can save roughly 15 bucks on right now this is a <coughs> excuse me uh the Toshiba ML2 small microwave. Small microwave, my friends. So let's think of something here. We have a few products left. We're about 10 minutes out. So we'll go over, but we normally do. So it, no problem. Uh, but we do have one more, one more uh, gift card giveaway. So the link is in the chat. So definitely get entered to win that if you guys haven't already. And then once all of our videos are expired and we're done watching them, uh, we'll definitely do our last gift card drawing for the day. James here. Today we're taking a quick look at the new product, guys. This is from Toshiba. This is their new microwave. Now this is their ML2-EM12EA 1.2 cubic feet microwave. That's actually a nice size, guys. Now the cool thing is you guys see this. This is black in color, but black brushed aluminum. Uh, design here so it does not like a stainless steel it's a it almost looks like a black brush which i like now some cool facts about this guys this has a new built-in smart moisture sensor so it can detect the moisture in the food so it doesn't ruin your food or over dry it out which is really really cool now you have your full keyboard over here or keypad i should say some of these key buttons right here is uh sensor reheat auto cook soft and melt Potato, rice, veggie, frozen pizza. Yes, you heard it right. You can do a frozen pizza in here finally. And frozen entree. Then you have popcorn, one pound defrost, clock. Yeah, I don't know. I'd say that's way too small, but I don't know. What is one thing you guys have noticed you need a big microwave for? Because I've never been like, my microwave's too small. I've never, I guess I've never thought that. Memory, uh, professional defrost, timer. So you can do your own timer, and then you have your keypads one through zero. But also you have on and off for the beeps. So if you guys ever got tired of the beeps when it got done uh, working, you can actually shut that off. You don't have to listen to it again. 
Then you have your auto 30 second cook time and your echo mode. So it does go into smart echo mode, which drops it down like 50% uh, uh, power, and it'll just cook from there until it's ready. So that's actually really yeah. Because I don't I don't know, chat. I don't think I've ever like yeah. I can't recall a certain. I can't recall a time where I've ever thought that my projector or not my projector my microwave was too small i've never i don't know maybe but not that i can remember so it's obviously not an issue in my life cool now some of these buttons do multiple functions which is also great now to set the clock of course hit clock right grab the time and it is of course 12 28 and we're gonna be clock again we are done there's our clock clock is now set uh, some cool things. Now, some of the buttons, like I said, do multiple things. Like the auto cook can um, cook different types of stuff, uh, including auto cook bacon. Um, it can auto cook frozen rolls or muffins. It can auto cook. You, oh, you have one above the uh, above your range and oven. Ah, uh, I, I like that. Um, but the one thing I wish I had, speaking about ranges and ovens, is I wish my so we don't have like a standard stove. Our oven is actually built into like a wall. We have two ovens for some reason. One is just a smaller oven that we never use. Um, but I want, so my oven right now is like the standard. I don't know if this makes sense. I don't even know what you call these, but the, the heater on it, the part that actually heats up is a coil. It's a coil stove, not oven. I keep saying oven. It's a coil stove. So all of the burners, burners are coils, like the metal coil. And they do a terrible job of heating up. They do a terrible job of maintaining heat and distributing heat. So I really want a, uh, I want a gas, I want a gas stove. But the thing is, is I know that it's, it, it's relatively easy to re to replace because we don't have a, a whole oven stove combo. So it's just kind of like built into the counter and you just take that one out put a new one down. I just want gas because gas is the best way. But the thing is, is while we do have natural gas in our house for certain things, uh, we don't have gas hookup there. And I don't even know who you would call. Who would you call to install? Cause it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a plumber to run that line. It wouldn't, it might be an electrician to run a gas line. Who would be the specialist for that? Ed? Who would be the specialist to run a gas line to a new location in the home? Oh no, just just be happy that you have a gas hookup. Be happy that you have a gas hookup. One really cool thing about talking about uh, gas uh, hookups and stuff like that. Whenever I worked at Dish Network, I would have to go to customers' houses. Um, I don't know if you guys have grills, and if you do, what type of grills you guys have. Obviously, I wouldn't know that. Uh, but if you guys have like a propane or a gas stove or whatever you want to call it, one of the houses I worked at whenever I was working at Dish, they had a line on their back porch coming out of the house that instead of having to buy propane to fuel their stove or to fuel their grill, they would just hook that up and open a valve. So it was, they were just using their home, like their house powered stove or their house powered, their house supplied gas which I, I just thought that was incredible the fact that you could just have an endless supply and you don't have to continuously go buy bottles that's amazing a natural gas grill yeah well that's the thing is i know that propane and natural gas aren't the same thing so do they make different so i thought i knew enough about grills but do you have to buy a specific type of grill to run off of the same gas that would power your your stove for example does that make sense or would just having the gas in there be enough you know what i mean is propane and natural gas are not the same things right somebody let me know in chat the builder thought we would be happy he installed the propane outlet on the back porch so it is just propane so then where is the propane being supplied from because the propane and natural gas are the same thing and a natural gas Propane is just liquefied, liquefied natural gas. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so it's the same exact thing then. Propane and natural gas are the same thing. Propane is just liquefied. Okay. So, okay, now my next question is, if you have two 100 tanks on outside of the house, then they must have natural gas stoves. Hold on. Or ovens. I mean, or grills. Natural gas grill. Conversion kit. Okay, so you buy conversion kits, my friends. Yes. So that's what a lot of people do when they build those really badass outdoor uh, like kitchens that have like the built into the, uh, you know, like marble or granite uh, countertops outside. They run natural gas grills and then they usually have a hookup to it. That is amazing. That is so dang cool. Now, my next question is, uh, who would be... Who's the specialist? So there's electricians, there's plumbers, there's painters, like there's a bunch of different trades for certain things in your house. Who would be the specialist that if you wanted a new line of gas ran, who do you call? Who do you call? Because I know there's, there's like the government agencies, but I don't think they're going to come do installs. A general contract. I, I don't know. I don't know who that is. But back to what we were doing. Really, you call the gas company. So, for example, my gas company is Oklahoma Natural Gas. I guess you could hire them to do it. Okay. Hmm. That's good to know. Thank you, guys. Because that's one of the things that I've, been, that I've been looking. They're called natural gas plumbers, believe it or not. Okay. I mean, it makes sense because they're running, they're running pipes. They're running uh, tubing and hoses and stuff like that. So... It kind of, kind of is the same thing, but with gas instead of water and poop. Any cards today? Dana, no cards today. Uh, no cards today. We did, we did some yesterday, uh, and we weren't going to do it yesterday, but I figured since I said we would, that we would do it yesterday. And uh, dependent on my, my personal, like legitimately dependent on my personal budget, or not, then I will go get some more for Saturday. Because I am making up a stream that I missed on Monday on Saturday. But anyways, the Toshiba ML2, as you guys can see right here, it's a very nice looking uh, microwave. It is. It does look a little bit smaller than normal, um, but it does look really nice. So definitely check that out. It's 109, so you guys can save $15 on it. Let's continue on in the stream so we can get to that gift card giveaway. The next product in today's stream is the Raptic Shield iPhone 13 Pro. And Dana, now that you are here, I do have to apologize to you because I know you wanted that Mew. And on Alex's stream, I pulled it right in front of you. And I am sorry. I'm here, Shook. But just know it will be taken care of. It will be in good hands. It'll get a nice sleeve and a nice binder. It will be taken care of. Facing the Raptic protective case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max and iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is the purple style case and it is transparent on the back with the kind of purple edges. They have a 10 foot drop proof protection so it's a shock proof case and it just looks really nice. I almost really like the style of it. Feels really good, really comfortable and I kind of like that little shining to the bluish purple on the sides of the case. It's a nice little accent there and let's go ahead and put my phone in this case and see how it does. Popping this out here, grabbing my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Again, really like the aesthetic design of this case. Slipping in your phone here. It's a nice little tight squeeze. All you have to do is align the corners and just kind of give it a nice snug little press to push it through the bumpers. It is definitely quite tight compared to some cases. So just make sure you just give it a nice snap in there. Show Darth Vader to Dana. Okay, I will after this. 3D print a Mew. This is what we're doing. Justin is in chat, so he is uh, he is here to listen. I did tell him earlier, but I told him that you guys do enjoy the whole 3D printing kind of spiel and the whole 3D printing thing that we do on my stream. Uh, so he is here. So we will let it be known now that you guys do enjoy the 3D printing stuff and you like the idea of printing, assembling, and all that and doing giveaways on... Uh, 3d printed stuff so the next after we get done with the um darth vader we'll come up with a new voting system 
or we'll come up with a new vote uh maybe in like a week after we get rid of this one because i can't i mean filament costs money filament costs money and so uh we can't just do as back to back to back to back to back but we will uh we will continue doing this so f and chat f and chat if you if you do want to do more 3d printed stuff get it in over those bumpers and i know you guys already answered earlier but anybody new once you feel it snap into place, though, you're good to go. Make sure all the borders are over the lip, and you're good to go. The sides oh, feel really nice. They're anti-skid, <laughs> anti-slip. I like I the translucent back. I really like the colors. And I like the little button, the, the little tactile button that's on the power switch there. Pumpkin, okay. And in addition, you could see the corners. So I think you guys kind of have, like, three different colors. So gluten is black and white and gray now because he's getting he, – gluten's getting a little bit old. Uh, you have pumpkin, which is kind of like that tannish beige color. And then you have kiwi, which is gray, right? Gray and white. There's a very protective here. It comes over and protects the screen. But the little buttons are a nice touch as well. Easy to get to my silence switch over there. And, of course, you got the bumper protection for your camera lenses as well. So that way they don't touch the ground or the surface when you put your Dark phone face stuff. down on okay. a desktop. Easy access to the port speakers and microphone. Everything just looks really nice and solid with this case. I like the look. I like the feel. This is what the Raptic protective case looks like Very for the nice iPhone case. 13 Pro Max. I really like this color. Um, it reminds me of like a – I don't know if you guys have ever seen like a fresh weld uh, after people get done welding stuff. And uh, it hasn't been cleaned off yet. It's a very specific scenario or a very specific example. But that looks like metal that has been freshly welded that hasn't been cleaned yet and polished. You prefer to have more about the products and very less about the 3D printing. So you, you're saying that you would rather talk more about products and talk less about... 3D printing is what you're saying. I completely understand. I completely understand. But I have to cater to the masses. I have to I have to cater to the masses. And I, I, I only ever want to do, and this is why I ask you guys so many questions. Like, what do you guys think? I've asked you about my room setup. It's because, yes, this is my setup and this is what I'm doing, but I'm really doing this for you guys. I mean, I'm doing this to interact with you. So if I'm ever being overbearing with certain things, I know I definitely am with speaking because I can do that a lot. Um, you guys just let me know. Um, now the 3D printing thing, 3D Dragon Blogger. 3 Dragon Blogger. That makes sense. You need more Pokemon card openings. Yeah, so it seems like we've kind of found what the majority of my viewers enjoy, which is Pokemon. Uh, but Justin can Justin can kind of vouch for what I'm saying now. I've already told Alex from his stream, and I've already told Justin that I don't want to be the Pokemon guy on Amazon live streaming. Alex is already that, and uh, I can never do what he does because he does an amazing job. He knows more about it. He knows more about uh, Pokemon, and he has way more enthusiasm when he opens them. So I, I, I'm never going to turn that into my thing. Now, since you guys enjoy it, um, I mean, I've personally went out and Justin is person. I've personally bought Pokemon packs to be able to give away to you guys. And Justin has too. So we do that every once in a while. But um, yeah, just kind of figuring out where we lie and kind of figuring out our shtick is always is. Uh, yeah, Alex does a phenomenal job. I highly recommend if you guys do like Pokemon, but you haven't been to his stream. Now, normally, I don't tell other people to go look at other streamers because selfishly enough, I mean, I want you guys here. Uh, but that is one stream I recommend you guys go check out because he, he does a phenomenal job. I mean, he does. He's awesome. I've been... Uh, I told Justin, one of these days, one of, you might get flagged for that since it's not my... You might get flagged for that, Faustino, since it's not my... Uh, it doesn't have Dragon Blogger in it. But anyways, what I was saying is, uh, yeah, definitely. He does, a, he does a great job. It's a really fun time. I think you guys would like it. You guys would like it. Uh, no, but yeah, we, we will definitely continue doing Pokemon cards. I mean, Justin already told me that Wednesday will be my 
Wednesday will be my Pokemon day, so we'll give away three or four packs on Wednesdays. Um, what types of products? Yes, because now while... So I'm going to give you guys kind of like an inside scoop real quick, and I'm going to cut this video short. Uh, I'm going to give you guys an inside Dragon Blogger scoop, and Justin's like, oh, what? now he's thinking, what is he going to tell them about our about how we work. I'm not gonna say anything bad or something they can't know. So if you guys ever notice that I show you, I show you and really all of our streamers, so James and Nikita, uh, we all show you guys a, a video or a product over and over. It's because these companies that we partner with, because I 95% of products in the carousel, I mean, this is a full disclaimer, I'm sure you guys are well aware, they're sent to us to do a review. Now, some companies will sign a contract or sign a something, yada, yada, yada. Um, they'll do something, make an agreement with Justin and pay for a certain amount of stream slots. Is That's how it kind of works, basically. And so that's why you guys see a lot of the same videos. It's not just because, well, yes, as well, it's because we like showing you good products, but also because... Um, I mean, it's, we're like almost obligated in a way. That's how it works. Sponsored. That's the best way to explain it. They're sponsored streams. So a company says, hey, I want you to show this so many times. Justin says, okay, this is what it's going to do. This is uh, the, He deals with all of the back end pricing, all that stuff. And then uh, that is determined by uh, how many times we show the video is determined by whatever Justin does in the in the background with these companies. Yeah, uh, Justin has personally, I know he has gotten products that were so bad that even though it was sent to him, he told the company, and I, I can't even remember, even if I did, I wouldn't name it. He said, hey, I'm not endorsing this product. It's bad. Uh, so we won't show you guys products that we haven't really given a stamp of approval. Um. Speaking of Justin, can you have your graphic designer make a dragon, like a little tiny thumbnail, kind of the size of the Dragon Blogger Showcase watermark? Can you have your designer make a Dragon Blogger Nate stamp of approval that I can put on my videos for products that just greatly exceed my expectations? But yeah, there's a little bit of an inside scoop, but we're going to keep rolling on in today's stream because I know you guys are itching for the gift card, the Taurus shockproof designed, uh, shockproof designed, uh, iPhone 13 cases next. You haven't noticed that you were showing the same video. Okay. And in your assets folder. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'll make my own then I'll make my own, I'll make my own dragon blogger stamp of approval because I do want my own, uh, just so whenever I do a review on something, there's specific products. Every product that we test is obviously worthwhile of showing you guys, but there's specific products that just go above and beyond in quality, usage, whatever it is. And I want you guys to know that if you ever see that stamp, I don't have to go on a tirade for 20 minutes talking about how awesome it is. If that stamp is going to be on a video going forward, uh, it is a phenomenal product. Can't put it on shoppable video though. Sounds like a new ritual. Only like pop it up on live stream. Now here's the thing. I don't know how to press a button on my stream deck and have it play something or have it do like show something through OBS. Like what I want to do is I want to be able to like when we're doing the 60 second or 30 second countdown, I want to be able to press a button on here and then I want to be able to press a button on here and then have a countdown timer pop up on screen for stream. I don't know how to do that. Here unboxing the Apple iPhone 13 Pro and testing out some Torres cases on it. This is the Alpine Green iPhone 13 Pro. Let me show you what you get in the box. It is brand new, just arrived. First off, I have to say I really love the Alpine green color. It's just a nice, refreshing color, and it's different and unique, and it stands out. Now, we chose the iPhone 13 Pro because of the three cameras. It has more than the iPhone 13 base, but not quite as powerful as the i13 Pro Max, but still a good, happy medium. 
as with the iPhone 12 Pro Max and 12 Pro, it just feels very, very nice. High quality metal build. It's almost the exact same profile as the iPhone 12 Pro too. So the cases are mostly compatible, though there's some kind of minor differences. But let's go ahead and test out some Torres cases now with the iPhone 13 Pro. The first case I have is this one. So set UID, how do you say that? Am I trying to... Do I need to try to say it as one word or is it set UID or is it like set you id set you id set you id okay so th that's a unix term set you set UID set UID okay it's a unix permission hmm I, I'm not familiar with uh, I'm not familiar with Unix. I'm not familiar with any forms of uh, uh, I guess what you get commands and stuff like that. I have very limited knowledge whenever it comes to uh, I have very limited knowledge whenever it comes to command prompt coding anything along those lines. The only the only program or I guess you could say. I don't, I don't really know how you explain this realm. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm relatively familiar. I'd say zero being no experience, 10 being an expert. I'm about a five with uh Linux red hat. If you guys are familiar with Linux red hat, I'm about a five out of 10, uh, on Linux red hat, because we had to use Linux red hat. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out that Taurus shockproof phone case. The next product. Keep seeing these iPhone 13s, and my iPhone is starting to get uh, it's starting to get a little bit old. My phone, my iPhone is old. It's three or four years old now. Maybe I should look to upgrade. I think it's paid off. I think I own the phone now. Uh, the Syncom hand massager is next. Now listen, chat. You can buy massagers that shall not be named or shall not be described on Amazon. Uh, fun fact, Justin has been requested to review uh, those very specific types of massagers. So I've reviewed leg massagers, foot massagers, head massagers, knee massagers, uh, general muscle massagers. Uh, but Justin has been asked to review shall not be named massagers on Amazon, <laughs> which I thought was... I think it's funny. I think it's funny that a company reaches out and legitimately wants us to review shall not be described massagers. <laughs> like, what? how do you want us to review this? Okay. How do you want us to review this? We have trouble figuring out a, a proper way without getting flagged or violating Amazon terms, reviewing a bidet. Now you guys want us to review this? Uh, that, that's a, that's a far cry, buddy. That's a far cry. So having something like this is going to be awesome. First off, out the gate, it comes with this really, really big, nice, soft carrying case. I like it. it has the drawstrings on it too as you can see so you can just pull that too um but no definitely really enjoy the fact that it has that case with it go ahead and slide out this no they asked they asked him to review he, he said no like i'm not what do you want me to do like i'm not i'm not going full-blown american horror story season one in this joint i'm not putting on a latex suit quite comfortably on there and then it has this little box which i assume has like the charger or cables for oh chat imagine that you just see justin uh it rubs the lotion on its skin yeah there you go justin um imagine justin is like hey what's going on guys justin i don't even know what his intro is usually i don't think he does intros uh but he shows up on screen in one of those full-blown just like from the head to toe leather latex black suits oh my gosh 
I'd have to quit. I'd have to quit because then I would know my boss wears latex suits and I couldn't deal with that. I couldn't have that on my conscious. I would quit doing what I do. Lights come on and then it automatically starts going. So this first button on the end is the air pressure. The green is the lowest and then you hit it. And oh yeah, travel. You don't have to hold it in the air. You don't hold it in the air. You just set it down on like, I don't know, your couch or your nightstand or something along those lines. Um, yeah, you, you don't hold it in the air. He's just doing that so he can showcase it. You leave it flat and then it does what it does. And I think that is one of the coolest features of it, but it's going right now and it's kind of moving. I should, you should really not have it hold up to demonstrate. Um, you should have it you know, on a surface and keep your hand from moving so you can get the full quality of the actual massage. But so far, I absolutely love this thing. It's super comfortable, it's easy to use, and it keeps your hands feeling nice and and limber and you know i can i can use them for whatever i need to so if you're looking for a nice little nifty device to use to enjoy a nice little hand spa to relax when you need it that not only simulates finger kneading and hand palm heating but also air compression for both sides of your hand definitely check out the syncom hand massager all right my friend so syncom makes amazing stuff i don't I might have reviewed one thing from I might have reviewed one thing from Syncom, but I can't even remember. Um, but from all of the reviews that I've seen on it from Dragon Blogger, they just make great stuff. Uh, the next product is from a company that I said will receive the Dragon Blogger Nate stamp of approval, uh, which I'm gonna I'm gonna graphic design after stream today at some point. Um, it is the Anchor Soundcore Beat Lights. So Soundcore, if you guys ever see it, just know that it is Anchor. Um, and you guys would be surprised how many names fall under uh, Anchor. Does it heat up? Uh, let me see. Let me see, Diva. Yes, it does heat up. It does heat up. And it's $15 off right now, too. It does heat up. Uh, but, yeah, so Anchor is also... Um, well, this might help you out then. That might really help you out, Diva, because they even say it helps. I can't say. It's not my professional opinion, but they say it's good for people that have arthritis. Kind of give you some uh, relief. So Soundcore is Anchor. Eufy is Anchor. Usually you see it in the name. Uh, who? Else? What else is Anchor? So Soundcore, Eufy, Anchor itself, because they do have Anchor branded products. Another cool one that you guys might not know is that Zero Zero Robotics, the V-Copter Falcon drone that I've shown you guys, that's Anchor as well. I'm sure there's more that I'm not aware of. Govi, is Govi Anchor? Really? I was gonna say, because I was gonna say Soundcore is, they have their own lights. I'm telling you, I don't care what it is anymore. Every Govi product, which Justin, I need more lights. I need all the lights, Justin. I need more Govi lights. Um, the sound Soundcore is Anchor's version of lights, but they also do speakers at the same time too. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product from Anchor. This is their Soundcore Beat Light B32. What does the B32 mean? It stands for 32 feet of LED strips. Now, this is an RGB plus strip, so they do say it can actually do segmented colors throughout the strip, which is kind of cool if it can. We're going to actually test that and see. I can't really install it today, but we're going to give you guys a quick installing and show you guys a little bit of lighting. Now, they do have a customizable mood lighting effects. It can actually sync with music and all that cool stuff with their Soundcore app. So make sure to add the Soundcore app. So what do you get inside this? Let's show you guys. Right off the back, I am greeted with whoops, the box of LEDs. And I'm going to open this up. I just ripped the front. So actually, it's got two strips. I was not expecting two different strips. So you do have two the strips RGB of these guys. And on the back, and I'll actually pop one of these open, right? See if I can get this open. Kind of show you guys this because this is kind of cool. You have the strip right here, guys, right? On the back, you actually have the 3M adhesive. And I'm going to kind of show you, hopefully show you this a little better. 3M adhesive, you peel it, stick it, guys, to anything you need. Now, the cool part is, is right here, and I know this is kind of hard to zoom in, but there you go. 
You can actually cut it on that ground part, guys, if you really need to cut to shrink this cable down if it's too long. Then you have the standard three prong, three prong, five volt uh, plug in on that. You have two of those, which is cool. Now, to stick the three adhesive, make sure you wipe down the surface you're using with like an alcohol prep pad or a nice cloth. Then inside here, you actually have the controller, which controls both LED strips. You have your power, you have your light cycles, and then you have your Bluetooth in here because this is Bluetooth. It does come with two alcohol prep pads, guys, right? And then it comes with some more 3 adhesive style uh, clips. Now, the 3 adhesive, we'll talk about this. I'm going to show this out. You can either 3 adhesive this to the wall to hold the actual strips to the wall and actually use it as that. Or you can use a screw and screw through this. And it does come with the screws to actually screw into the wall or whatever you're going to actually connect it up there. Looks like you have several pieces of that, which is great that they give you that, plus the two alcohol pads. Then on the other side of this box, you actually have the standard wall brick, guys, of course. But what does it look like and how does it work? So let's take this out, plug this in right here, right? I'm going to reach down here, and I'm going to grab me an LED uh, extension cord. We're going to plug in the extension cord. I'm going to kind of close this box and set the extension cord on there. Then we're going to grab the LED strip that we actually opened right here. And I'm going to unstrip some of this. And then we're going to grab one side of this, guys. And remember, they do clip in a certain direction, so make sure that you clip it in properly. So this actually has a hook here, and this has a little lip. That is how you'll actually connect it. It will connect. And then you guys can see the LEDs are already on and already going. They're actually quite bright and beautiful. I actually like this. Now, the controller, of course, guys, right? So we can recycle the patterns and we can change the patterns just like this. It's really cool to be able to show you guys this with the round. And we're going to hit the pattern again. There's a different pattern. Guys, if you want to change it up again, whoa. I was not expecting that. I like that. That was cool. <laughs> Look I always like that when he. That is cool. So that's like voice activated. If I get quiet, it won't do nothing. If I keep going, it'll actually go back to going. Now, the one thing this does do, guys, that I will kind of try and show you guys this, is we grab the phone, right? We'll have to pair this. You have to hold down the actual Bluetooth button or the power button. Now, we're going to go over here. We're going to grab the Soundcore app, right? Soundcore app should pop up right here, Soundcore app. This is what we want right here. Uh, it's going to load. Of course, this Soundcore app will load all of the devices that you have in here. But there it pops up. Beat Light 2, device found. Click Connect. So we're now going to connect this, and it's going to start going. You guys see it's now connecting. So in here, guys, you can actually customize the lights that you want, the motions, the playlist. As you guys can see, we can actually scroll through this, but let's... Oops. Go back. I did not expect that. Let's go back to the effects. So with the effects screen, guys, we can just literally scroll up. There's so many effects, right? Rainbows, sunrise, piano, sparks, like that. Let's go over to motions. We do have motions. We have racing, flicker, shine, chaos, break, meter, intersect, jigsaw, fireworks, flowers, breeze, claps, snakes, swings, loves, jumping, and you keep going and going and going. Then they have a playlist, guys. The playlist, the playlist functions with your combinations of multi-functions of any other devices. If you want to do paint, guys, you can make your own, right? Or we can go over here to color, customize segments of the sections. We can go up here, hit this. This gives us the device name and firmware update if you need the device name and firmware update. All very simple, very easy. Now there is a microphone, so you can actually add a microphone to this. Now I'm going to actually grab, let's grab us something here, and let's grab the rotation. Let's show you guys rotation. So very simple, very easy, guys. Of course, this is the Anchor Beat Light B32 kit, guys. 32 feet of LEDs, two different strips. Thanks for checking out this video, and I hope you guys All right, so like I said, that is Anchor. 
Anchor Mix Sound Core, really awesome. The Xsense Wireless Interchangeable, um, interconnected, sorry, interconnected uh, smoke alarm is the next product in today's stream. Don't forget to get entered because we are getting very close to being done with today's stream. Get entered to win that gift card, which we will be doing soon. I heard something about they have their own soda drink. Juggalos? Let's see if we can't get some incense to set off our smoke detector. And then at the same time, we can test these devices being linked. So we've got the incense stick in there. I'm going to close off some of these holes to see if we can't force that smoke to trigger the event. You can see the smoke coming out of there. All right, so I got that to go off. And about oh, wow. minutes later, this guy went. That's how long it took for that to clear. About three seconds after this guy stopped squawking, this guy stopped squawking. So it's about a two or three second delay between the different devices going off. All right, so if you guys need some new, uh, why are you playing the beep, beep noise? I have to. I mean, it's part of the product. It's part of what the product does. So, I mean, I have to showcase to you guys what, what it does. Um, your dogs would go nuts. Probably. Yeah. The Gus Goo Mini Fan is the next product that we're going to be taking. <coughs> that we're going to be taking a look at. But if you guys do need um, some new smoke alarms, carbon monoxide alarms, Xsense has got you covered. I just did a review on one of theirs, and it was really nice. I appreciate that, Jeanette. <laughs> Muted. Yeah, I get it. Um, but that one, this set right here that we're showing you guys comes in... Uh, Let me see. Comes with a set of six for one ninety five. You can also buy a one pack or a six pack, but the set is fifty four dollars off. But the get Gus Goo Mini Stroller Fan, or really just fan in general, uh, is the next product. Right now, that is nearly fifteen dollars off. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is by Goose Goo, and again. Charges via USB-C, which I like that they chose USB-C instead of micro-USB, so that means they're newer. Multiple fan speed settings just by tapping the button. Flexible legs here. So with these flexible legs, you can actually wrap this around a tree branch, a fence, anything that's near you, a bar or rail. You can just wrap it around and position it to where it can keep you cool. Now, believe it or not, this has a pretty good amount of airflow for its size. Really nice amount of airflow. Now they build it as a baby fan because you can put it and just wrap the legs around a stroller so that way you can keep your baby with a, a fan breeze going while you're pushing them in a stroller. So it's a good option for that as well. But you could even put this on a bike if you wanted to and wrap it around the bike handles, handlebar area. You could pretty much do anything you want with this. Just to give you an example, when I'm bicycling with my Renfro Smart AI bike, all I need to do is wrap Very handy fan, fan around my bicycle handle, set it on high, and it gives me a nice cool breeze while I'm working out with my indoor bicycle. So again, the fan is very versatile. I really like the flexible legs. You could use it for a stroller, a baby car seat in a car. There's a lot of options you could do with this fan just to keep you cool, keep a cool fan breeze going. And it's really an excellent portable fan that keeps you cool on the go and is useful in so many circumstances. All right, my friends, so that is the second to last product, uh, $15 off. I have that fan where you guys can't see it. If I turn my camera, you guys can see I have the pink version, and I always have it uh, wrapped around that little pole that you guys could see, and I zoomed in real far. I always have it right there, uh, ready to go, and it's on right now just to keep you cool during these longer, long streams. Uh, so definitely check it out. It's very nice. It can also run off of battery power, too. Um, so it can run continuously off of the 
of it being plugged in or battery power. Now, the one thing I will admit on it that it doesn't do very well is at the highest setting, because there's three different fan speeds, the highest setting, it, it only lasts about 15 minutes or so. But that might just be exactly what you knew, uh, just enough time to get you in and out of the car, basically. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the last product. Be sure to get entered into our gift card giveaway. I'm going to drop a link one more time because right after this, we will be doing our gift card giveaway. Hey everybody, so this bad boy right here is my Siago Electric Height Adjustable Standing Desk and it's absolutely amazing and it has a lot of cool features. The first of which is the feature that you use to adjust, adjust the actual height of the standing desk, which I'm going to show you here. So I already have some custom profiles built in where if I hit one right here, it's going to adjust it to its highest position. Now its lowest height is 23.6 inches and it goes all the way up to about... 49.2 inches and it will hold 240 pounds of weight. It's absolutely sturdy and super easy to build. It only took me about 20 minutes to build this entire thing. But now that it's about to reach its highest height, it's going to stop right there. I'm going to hit two and it's going to just down to a sort of medium setting at 100. And then uh, once it gets there, I'm going to show you guys basically how to program this really amazing, really easy to use standing desk. So I'm gonna go over here to the little panel and as you can see, it's at 100 and it has these two buttons on the side to adjust the height and then four buttons on the side that you use to save the profiles so I'm going to demonstrate that here so right now it's at a hundred which is basically my second setting so I'm gonna lower this down right here just by holding this button and then letting go right when I get to where I want so it's going to be 89 then I'm going to hit the S button hit the 3 button and that's going to save it to profile 3 so now that when I hit 2 it's gonna go back up to the hundred that I had previously set it for and now when I hit the three, it's going to go to the new pro profile that I just set up, which it should be 89. So we're going to see that here. So overall, this desk is absolutely fantastic, absolutely easy to use. It has two clips on the side that you can use for headphones and all sorts of things. So if you're looking for an awesome ergonomic office desk, this is definitely the one to pick out. It's absolutely fantastic, super easy to build, and I don't know what I would do without it. This thing is absolutely fantastic and amazing. All right, so Nikita said it best. It is absolutely fantastic. That is going to be it for today's stream, my friends. So if you guys are ready to do, look at the indention I have from my headset the whole time. If you guys are ready and you guys are entered, F's in chat. You guys know what to do. F's in chat. Let me get the F's. Boom, boom, boom. They're just popping up. Boom, 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 boom. So. looks like nobody's not ready. It doesn't look like anybody is not ready. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and switch over to the giveaway page. Uh, you guys can see here that I, I, I had to stop the 3D print because it failed. Uh, we had a little bit of a spaghetti monster on his left leg, but I'll go ahead and restart that right after stream. Uh, but here we go. So everyone looks like they're entered. Nobody has said wait or anything along those lines. Uh, so let's go ahead and see who the final gift card winner for today is. It looks like it is going to be. Mm, drum roll, please. Charles T. Charles T. Are you in the stream? Charles T. Are you here? I met Denise. Welcome to the stream. Charles T, congratulations. You have won an Amazon gift card. Congratulations to Charles T. Uh, and that is going to be it for today's stream, my friend. So, you know, the typical yada, yada, yada. If you liked anything, add it to the cart. If you didn't, that's fine. No sweat off our backs. Uh, Charles cheated. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, no, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget, uh, we are giving away a ton of different stuff. We're giving away a ton of different stuff. I'm going to drop links in chat one more time. So we are giving away a Darth Vader once he is completed. We are 3D printing and giving this little Darth Vader away. It's going to be awesome, especially when I print the, the saber in red. So let me go ahead and uh, drop the links for everything we're giving away. So we're giving away a Gigabyte GD G5 gaming laptop or $800 PayPal. 
the deadline to get entered is going to be on September 3rd. And on September 4th, we will be drawing it live. We're giving away a portable car jump starter. And we're even giving away, um, we're even giving away one of these, this guy right here. Once he's all done, we will build, we will be building it live on stream. So definitely get entered to win all of that stuff. And let me drop the link for the Darth Vader one more time. One more time. There we go. Enter to win Darth Vader. 3D print and my cat is making an appearance. So there are all the links for our current giveaways going on. Don't forget tomorrow I will be streaming. I will be streaming tomorrow, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central. And well, 2 p.m. to really 7 p.m. almost. And then uh Nate is not reading it. Hold on. Did I say Evans? What did I say? What's going on? Hold on. Evans didn't win today. Will the saber light up too? Very cool. No, it will not light up. I'm sure you could figure out a way to rig that up. I don't have the engineering skills, uh, but it is going to be printed in a red filament. So it looks like it. Uh, Evans. You, it seemed like there for a while you were winning left and right, but anyways, before we make this any longer than it needs to be, uh, as my cat messes with Grogu in the background, you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys tomorrow, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.